is Irina here, and, uh, something is a bit slow with my OBS, I don't know why, um, hopefully it's still good, uh, hopefully we don't run into, uh, into weirdness, uh, hello everyone, alright, so, uh, today, uh, one sec, let me get this lined up, um, today I'm gonna be working on trying to see if we can get Steam Games to run, um, so I did some prep work already last night, uh, and, um, so the plan is uh, to use Fex to emulate Steam, which already works. Um, and for that, we need to get a kernel built with 4K pages, which also already works. However, the GPU driver does not. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working on first. Um, but I tested Steam. Steam works with software rendering. Um, and, um, and like, I even tried running Portal and it ran at like 3 seconds per frame. <laughs> So we know the, the basics work, it's a bit glitchy, but that's expected. Um, and now it's going to be about getting the GPU stuff working and seeing how it goes. Um, so, yeah. Um, give me this one second, I just want to make sure that... We're, uh, check something to make sure that we don't crash later, because I have a suspicion as to what might be going on. Because the... I don't know, I looked on the stream, but the intro was a bit um, weird here, so... Just one sec. Uh, maybe that, yeah. I'll just do that for now, just to be safe. Okay, I think I think we're probably okay now. Um, so let's see if it works. Let me just double check that we are good here. I think we're good. All right, so let me show you what I have so far. So, um, the first thing I had to do was set up Fex. And, um, to do that, you need a root file system that is, um, where's that? Where's my... Here. So you need a root file system that is, um, x86 instead of ARM. So, um, what I did was I did a chroot install of Arch Linux the non-ARM version, the x86 version, on my x86 dev machine here. And so this is a root, and um, I have a... So if you look at the root, it's um, an Arch system. Um, but I have some bind mounts, so I can go, like... My, I can access my home directory and stuff. Um, but... Um, yeah, so this is an Arch system, and I just, I just realized that I am missing something, because for testing the driver, I am going to want the Mesa demos, like GX gears and stuff. So let's install that first. Um, it should be... Mesa demos. And so this is, uh, just, um... See it's in my dev system. So what I have is this is where it actually lives. It's in uh, my home directory um, slash x 6 root. And I have a sync script here that just r uh, syncs it over to the Arginux ARM test machine. So now we should have um, ETL gears and GLX gears and all that. Um, actually, GLX gears is. Is GLX gears there? No, wait. All right, this is like EGL gears and stuff. I miss how you tails is where that is, probably. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, so TLX gears is in there. Let's think that again. And so now we should have TLX gears on the target. So remember, we this is still software rendering, but I'm just going to prove that it works. So this is the... Um, the uh, Mac Mini, and it's running Fex, and Fex is already set up. And so, this is the ARM environment, but if I run Fex Bash, then it gives me a Bash shell in the um, emulated 32-bit system. So that says, you know, it's, it says it's Fex x 64 um, So this is emulated, and we should be able to run DLX gears now with um, software rendering. It might be very slow, or it might be broken. <laughs> um, so for rendering, oh yeah, it works. 
Um, so, so far, rendering is very slow on, um, I mean, it's, it's fast enough for, you know, this, um, but it's very slow because it's software rendering emulated. So it's software rendering, um, like, inside an Intel emulation inside ARM64. Um, so it's actually doing 600 FPS, which is pretty good, but, I mean, then again, this is GLX Gears. Um, but, um, yeah, so I installed Steam and I actually got it to work. So, um, Steam works, but it's like super slow, uh, because it also, um, you know, runs with software rendering. And it has like the, this Chrome embedded framework stuff, and I, I had to add some parameters to make it not crash. It's, it's all very slow, but it does work. Um, so I have some games in here. And so, the, the goal here is going to be to get all this working with the GPU. So it's gonna take a while to start because Steam is slow and now it's even slower and it's like triple slow with emulation and self rendering. But as you can see, it does work. So, all that's good. Um, so, we're gonna quit Steam now because it's not very usable in this state. And we're gonna see what it's gonna take to get the driver working. So, um, right now... Is it gonna quit? Is it gonna quit? Yes. Um, so, right now, uh, this is on a 4K page kernel. This is SSH into that. <clears throat> And we, um, so what I did here on the kernel, um, side, if I can find that. I repairs in the latest Asahi kernel stuff. And so I have, um, a few hacks. Um, so I did this last night. This is, um, Sven's old 4K support hack. Um, it basically makes it so that, um, the 16K IO MMUs in the kernel, um, work. Uh, even when the CPU page size is 4K, um, as long as the drivers are allocating memory through the IOMMU system, um, it knows how to allocate memory in a way that it will work for 16K IOMMUs, even on a 4K system. So, um, so that's, that works. Um, but I had to add another hack because the display controller driver does one thing that is not guaranteed to work with this hack. Um, so it was disabled, but, um, the way this, the display controller driver does it, it is actually guaranteed to work. So it's not guaranteed to work in the general case, but it is guaranteed to work um, in this particular case. So I just removed the check um, because, you know, it's I, I just want to make this work right now. This is not necessarily what is going to be upstreamed when we um, get this all working. But the goal for today is to make it work, not to make it, you know, pretty. So, um, yeah, I just turned it off. And uh, then this is unrelated. This is just a, a problem I ran into for some reason. Um, it's a known issue that seems to be a bit random um, where it shows up. So I just added a hack to make it work. And um, so that was enough to get um, Steam running. And um, so there we are. Now we have a 4K kernel. So what's left? What's the issue here? Um, if you look at the D message, you will see the... Um, GPU tries to initialize and then it throws an error saying an MMU mapping is not page aligned and that is exactly what you would expect because um, the um, like when you allocate memory on the GPU the allocations aren't being aligned um, to the page size uh, because the page size of the GPU is 16k but the CPU is 4k and um, so what you need to do is fix that so let's take a look at how this all works and I'm going to see if I can walk you through the through the code a little bit and show you how it goes. So what we have here is... Apparently I don't even have the right things open. Ah, uh, one sec. So 
So, uh, the GPU driver allocates memory and uh, this is a unified memory system. So, um, it, uh, you know, GPU memory and CPU memory are the same thing. Um, so the way most um, GPU drivers for shared memory systems like this one um, work on Linux is that they use the GEM uh, memory manager. And um, so that's... Uh, this is the code in my driver that talks to Jim. And um, basically, when we create an object, we create a, an object from the Jim um, shared memory uh, wrappers. And I wrote those for Rust. So here are the wrappers. So here's the shared memory code. And when you create a new object, it goes through DRM Jim Jim create. So let's follow the code. Let's just keep going and find where this takes us. So this is C code now, um, and that is in... If I can find it, it should be here in Shmem Helper. So there's DRM gem um, Shmem create, which just calls the other function. And what this does is it does a gem create object, which creates the actual... Um, like in memory object and then um, it does a DRM gem private object in it or a DRM gem object in it. So in this case it's not a private object so it just goes through DRM gem object in it and if we look at that we'll see that what it's actually using for GPU memory is a shared memory file. So um, literally when you create a texture on the GPU it's the same thing as creating a file in you know slash run or slash um, dev uh, shem or you know any tempfs mapping um, it literally is just a, it's just a file now everything is a file in unix yeah um, so this is not going into the kernel's um, like shared memory code which is really interesting so okay how does that code um, do things So it also gets wrapped and this is the function and yes, this is now doing some size accounting and getting an inode and allocating a file. Now the thing is, um, because this is a file, it doesn't actually have any memory yet. Um, so it would be like a sparse file. So what you really want to know is inside this file, um, and all the shared memory code is here. Um, it's 4,000 lines, it's pretty long. Um, is where does it allocate? So let's just search for alloc and see if we find something. There's a lot of random things there. So there's stuff about huge pages, which is interesting. Okay, now we start talking about folios. Um, so this is interesting because this is actually um, pretty interesting. So um, the Linux yeah, kernel um, manages memory in terms of pages, but Pages can be pretty small, 4K or 16K, and it's very, you know, it's inefficient to manage memory um, page by page. So, um, recently the Linux kernel has had um, some refactoring going on to add support for folios, and folios are just groups of pages. So, it's just a bunch of pages that I'm put together. And, um, and so this is exactly what we want because a 16K page is just a, you know, folio of four. 4K pages. Um, so this is really interesting. And so there's a bunch of folio stuff here. Okay, so here's something interesting. Shmem alloc huge folio and shmem alloc folio. So um, because the shmem code supports huge pages, which are even larger pages um, used on 4K systems. Um, this is doing VMA alloc folio, and it uses the huge page PMD order, which is the power of two, like logarithm two of the number of um, pages in a huge page. And so this is allocating one huge page, and then this one, Shmem alloc folio, it just passes order zero. So what we want here is actually a two. 
um, because that will force it to allocate um, 16k folios even on a 4k system. Now my question is, is that going to work? Is that literally all we have to do? Um, so the interesting thing here is that if we look at the... Um, if we look at Shimei Malik Folio. And that was actually done like... Literally just last year. Like about a year ago, even less than a year ago. So this is actually pretty new code. This has been refactored very recently. So it's nice that we are doing this now because um, it probably wouldn't work before the folio support was properly done. But now that we have this, okay, so Shemir Elk and Account Folio will call either one of those depending on whether it's a huge page or not. And NR is the number of pages. So clearly we have some um, differences here. Um, so we're going to add a... This is just going to be a hack for now. I think that's the config name. Yeah, config arm 64 for gay pages. Um, so we're going to add a little hack here. Um, So order zero means one page each, order two means two to the power of two or four, so for um, pages each, each, and um, we can make that the same on both. And um, so let's see if we can use these um, constants to uh, make sense. So um, yeah, if we allocate an account folio, let's see if we can just replace that with the uh, number of... Um, pages we allocate and then the order here would be um in the order um but then we have to do this index stuff too which is a bit tricky maybe so we probably should do this check also um and then it might fail but if it we should do a probably a bug on that if that ever happens because we're hoping we never have um any pages there. So let's add, um, let's add a warning on that. Um, just so that if, if, if that ever triggers, um, you know, something, something has caused another page to end up in the middle of the ones we're trying to allocate. So, um, let's see if that does anything useful. And then, yeah, we're, we're back on this. Um, so, Let's see, um, does anything else call this? Um, some stuff does replace folio. The good thing is that the um, GPU-ish mem code isn't gonna do, um, hit most of these test cases, but I'm making that change globally, so, um, like the whole system is gonna break if this doesn't work, but that's probably a good thing because we probably wanna make this, you know, actually work. Um, So I don't really understand this code. Um, but hopefully that works. Um, So this is doing a one-page copy, which is not um, what we want, so let's add another constant for that just to see if we can make that work. Um, but the problem is that mm, that is going to assume page size, so that's a bit tricky. Um, okay, so this is allocating a page... Um,
I think my need is we need to offset this, right? This this happens when the page isn't um found. But no one um Um, so about the performance difference, depending on the workload, you can see anywhere from nothing to 20% faster with um, 16k pages. That's why we, um, we're probably not going to use 4k pages by default. So you'll have to use a separate kernel for, um, for running this kind of stuff. Mm, what does Keymap local folio? Take offset, okay. Um, I guess that, that's a single page, so that, that's what we want. We just need the offset from that. Um, Okay, so yeah, we need we need um to um round this somehow. But this is only used for the user fault FD anyway, so I probably don't care but care, but let's try um let's try fixing it anyway. So we need the um offset um Is there an online um Is there a line down or something? I think there should be. Okay, so let's just align down on that um, to get that on the right page and then... Um, And then the offset is that into the folio. And so let's see what else caused that. So we have uh, just that one color, then the replaced folio. Um, what is folio test large? Okay, so that is currently bugging if there is more than one page on old. That's not what we want. Uh, what we want to do is uh, bug on um, if the number of pages is not the same. How do I get the size of a folio? The order. I want to. I want to find out the order. Mm, I don't know if I can do that.
I'm not sure exactly what's going on here because um I might need the I think this has to be the page count. So I think I need um add a number there. And then request entry um That is doing a bunch of them. Um, let's look at a huge page thing again. I want to see how the um, allocation fills in the uh, pages. So that goes through here, and that, um... Oh, folio number pages, that's, that's what I wanted for the other one. Um... doing it like that. I want to know where it does the, um, the x-ray stuff. this one I need to use a brown down instead of a line uh, um a line down. Um Hey it all Yeah, I need to move that down. Um, let's just do it like that. I mean, Steam works, but I'm working on the GPU thing first because right now it works without um, acceleration. So, and this might be the wrong way of doing this, but let's see. Uh, let's see if, if let's see how badly this explodes. Um,
So let's look out for an uh, Rehab Replace Folio. That's the one I just changed. Um, Okay, so there's an accelerated state order, pages, index, folio, order, folio. Okay, there's... I don't know how this accelerated state stuff works, but it's probably related. Um, yeah, multi-index entry. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so um, it actually just stores the folio on every entry. Um, so then I think this should just work. Uh, because it's going to create the same multi-index uh, entry, so that's actually what you want. Yeah, okay, that, that should actually work. Alright, so what else is calling um, those functions? This is the one we care about. Um, Get folio GFP that tries the regular folio, then tries the... Um, so it tries the huge page, then it tries the regular one. Um, that should be fine. So I think we have a ref counting issue here though, um, because of the... The references is going to be one for every X-ray entry, you think? Um... Actually, I might need to use the XA state order thing here also. I'm not sure. Let's just see what happens. Does it mean any kind of game from Steam will work? No, of course not. The driver's not finished, but we're gonna see how many way uh, games work. Um. So, let's see, add the page catch, um... Yeah, so the folio ref add number and then folio ref um, sub number. I think we're going to need that here. Um,
Yeah, so, um, we need the number here. I wonder if that has to be, um, doubled like that. I guess the caller is supposed to, um, has a reference? So maybe it's one plus an, an R. That's correct. And um, that gets called only from here, from swapping. Okay, um, this is actually only used for some weird drivers and stuff, so we might want our 16k trick here. But right now, that should never get triggered anyway. So that probably doesn't matter. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's just let's just compile this and see what happens. Uh, there's no way this is gonna work on the first try. This 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 is this is kind of a crazy. <laughs> um, Steam can't run an ARM, but you're using an emulator. Okay, what did it just break there? HNX fifteen seventy seven. Need to allocate that. I um, mean, declare that. And we also need the mapping on that. Could these changes have some other applications games? Um, not really. This is kind of specific to Apple stuff. Okay, let's see, uh... Let's see what happens. Did you try running it via Rosetta? No, um... That's, uh, not gonna work for other reasons. And the regards to DSL, which you don't enable yet, but also, Rosetta is not legal to run outside of a VM in macOS anyway, so that's not very useful. And besides, again, without the GPU working, it's, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay. Let's, um, actually, I'm gonna use the hypervisor for this. Because it's, there's a good chance it's going to go very wrong. I 
I mean, Steam works again. I'm just making the, the driver work on 4K kernels. And if this has nothing to do with Steam itself. Of course it's open source. It's Linux. Okay, um, kernel panic. I want to know what the GPU did, though. Did the GPU initialize? No, it didn't. Ah! So, we broke it and we, uh, we made it worse. Oh, but actually, um... The address here is, um, I think... The address is actually a 16K aligned, it's just the size isn't, but... Um, first of all, I think I need to page align this in the driver. gonna align the actual um, sizes of the, the driver requests and also in file um, in trim create we want okay that is a new object so um, that's fine Okay, let's say, um, let's first do that, and it's gonna take a while to compile the rest. And now, about this crash, it panicked and do exit. Oh, that's just because it died. Okay, why didn't it die? I think we need the system to debug on this. Um, I need the util align on that. Um... Put these things here. Um, Okay, let's see if that runs. Um, let's run um, system D back, see what happens. Oh, it's not there yet. Okay, let's see what we get. So this time did something, and then it died. Okay. Oh, and it dies like right after huge page stuff. Maybe I should disable that. Um, but it gets pretty far. What are the GPU? GPU probed! Okay, so the GPU works now. Is this system D is panicking? That's a good start. 
Yeah, I don't know what's up with the uh, three stage chaos and I don't know what that's about either. So, and it died. We don't know why though. Okay, can we just like disable huge pages? Because I really don't care about that right now. Watching anime? Yes! I don't watch a lot these days because I'm kind of busy, but I do enjoy it. I think it's gonna rebuild the entire kernel now, maybe? Because when you change these um, core memory management things, it tends to rebuild everything. Okay, let's do a commit of what we have so far because, I mean, the GP initializes, that's pretty good. Um, so first the, um, driver thing, um, gonna take a while um i hate i want to know why this is crashing though like how do you even debug system do like that take a while hmm this sounds like it's gonna be pretty annoying to debug <laughs> but if the same like huge pages works so I'm just gonna go with that Is a boarding car a... Is that a kernel thing? Oh, that's, that's a kernel thing. Oh, it's like recursively core dumping.
Yeah, so system DS is crashing and we don't know why. Probably exact faulting or something. Which probably means we're mapping something wrong. Ah, uh, here's an interesting one. It checks um she went right and um ha, huh, wait a second. Let's actually add the, the extra sizes there. I think we probably missed a bunch of code paths. And now that's only used for allocation. Um... I could make this only happen for um, gem stuff anyway, instead of doing it for everything, because obviously, yeah, the GPU stuff is going to um, do a lot of less, you know, operations than the general shmem stuff. I wonder what this right end thing. Um, post, press copied, eye size. It's not page up to date. Compound fan, trans compound. Um. Yeah, so th this length is wrong. Um. Um, so yeah, we need the folio stuff. Um... I think that's a uh, missed um, folio refactoring. Um, so let's go to Linux. Um, find where that is defined.
Okay, so we want a speed folio. So it's more like a folio test large folio. And then it's folio number of pages, folio. And then we check if the page is equal to the page. Continue, otherwise clear high page. Sub page equals page, otherwise do that. Yeah, I think that should work. this up-to-date stuff like you want the folio outside anyway and then we just folio mark up-to-date gonna fix things but we're gonna try and let's try combining that again what is missing yet for fully functional system by using 4k page size this uh do you know if you are a good internet service provider sorry i don't know i haven't tried it some good things about them but then i i don't know the latest info so okay uh let's see what happens now ha huh. if this stuff doesn't work i think i'm just gonna um gate this on gem pages like make them functions based on the mapping or something um and yeah and just see if that makes it easier Got a login prompt. I don't know if the huge page thing was part of the issue. Um, might want to enable that later, but um, for now, let's just add the extra um, hacks. So, um, is 3D gonna work? Nope, that does not work. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, it's failing on. On DCP there. That's interesting. Oh, BI is not a multiple of the page size. That in Mesa, I think. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's just fix that in Mesa. That should be easy to fix in Mesa. Because when it creates the uh, display controller um, BO, it's only aligning to the... Um, it's only aligning to the page size. Oh, yeah, because the, the Ionomy code is doing the alignment, but, like, DRM doesn't know that. So, we, yeah, we, we need to um, probably just fix that in Mesa. It should be this file. I think it is, it's this file. Um, a render only creates scan out for resource. Ah, right, but this is, um, this just as a dumb create. I mean, probably don't want to change that in render only. Okay, let's fix it in DCP actually. Let's fix it in the kernel. Um, because it shouldn't be too hard. You can just align that. Yeah, because you have Apple Jarm dumb create and it's right here. Yeah, we just need to align this. That should, that should work. That's all we need there. That's easy. Let's try that again. Uh, it is using Fex. I'm using Fex to get Steam to run, but the question is, can I get the GPU to work? Oh, what's what's going on there? Hard disk. Did my USB die or something? Did like the PCI Express stuff not work? Yeah, something went wrong with it. I'm, I'm just starting booting again because I have an external SSD for like the Steam games. Might be a little bit glitchy for other reasons. Hey, that worked. Um, so that went very wrong. Oh wow, we crashed our ticket. All right. <laughs> um, that went wrong. Interesting, okay, so we crashed on a user address, which means, um, the tile vertex buffer stuff didn't work. Interesting. Alright, I need to run this with uh, debugging and with the, um, hypervisor tracer for that. That's what I'm doing now. I'm making it work on 4K. There was a patch for 4K support for a while ago. You just have to build it yourself. Oh, wait, it's working now. 
Okay, I don't know why it didn't work earlier. Oh, that's interesting. Why would it not work? You know what it could be? Maybe this DLB stuff. Maybe the range, um, is using the CPU page size. The, like the CPU broadcast, um, this in terms of like an absolute size. gonna guess that that's how that works I don't know if that's what caused the problem there but um, there's a good chance that's it um, wait that's not a doc comment um, oh that Okay, let's try it um, without memory debugging because that affects the allocations. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just do it with um, with that. But what I'm also going to do um, to make sure it doesn't do that is I had a hack. Um, rust panic so that's a kernel oops when it um when it crashes and that means that i can then inspect the state from the hypervisor probably should just make that um a debug option actually let's let's do that um Get the highest bit.
All right, this is not C anymore. Yes, I am emulating X86 with facts. Hey, that looks like it and does what I want, so let's go with that. Actually, we want Crash to be on here. Um, we want that check to be there. Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. I mean, you need a special patch for the 4K stuff and uh, some other hacks. That's that's what I have here. Um, so that's not upstream yet, uh, which is why 4K doesn't work uh, with the Asahi kernel yet. But it's not like it's impossible. It's just that it hasn't been supported because there was no reason to use a 4K kernel because... The only reason to use a 4K kernel is to run x86 games, and it didn't make any sense because the GPU driver didn't support that! Which is why I'm fixing that now! Okay, let's enable that flag. Um... Uh, let's not enable the memory debugging stuff because that um, might change sizes. Let's just do that and see if it crashes with that. It's also possible that this is an interaction with the hypervisor because the invalidation stuff goes through the hypervisor. Um, so... It's totally possible that um, if I do it without the hypervisor it will work. Okay, it works. So, I don't know if I fixed it or if it was a fluke. Um, but that's looking good. Um, Alright, so, is KDE gonna work? Hey, that looks good! It's accelerated. So, um, now we need to take this, um, and, um, add the Intel build of Mesa, because now we have GPU on a 4K kernel. Um, but Steam doesn't have the GPU drivers yet. So, that's gonna need two things. Um, first I need to actually, um, I didn't make any changes to Mesa, so I shouldn't need to, um, make anything there. But I need to actually put that into the... into the um, x86 chart and I have a sync mesa debug thing here which I haven't tried yet so let's see if that works that looks pretty good so this is an x86 build of the Asahi mesa GPU driver which is really funny and there should be a 32-bit build also also, those are supposed to be hard links. Why is it syncing? I think I need to change that to preserve hard links. Okay, much faster now.
It's facts. I'm using facts, and I'm gonna have to modify the source code now because you will see that this still doesn't work because Fex needs to know about the um, UAPI used by the GPU driver. Or it doesn't need to, but it does. Like, um, our UAPI is actually compatible with 32-bit, but um, I'm actually 64-bit might work. Whoa, wait, hold on. How? What? That's weird. Oh, wait, no, I'm running a 16k kernel, aren't I? Hold on. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I got the wrong, wrong kernel here. No, 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 no. Um, before the... Okay, so that's why I crashed early. I crashed before I turned on the hypervisor. And now I'm on a... Now I'm on a 16k um, kernel, so it didn't crash. Okay, let's, let's do that again. So it might be that it's still broken. It does work, it does work, and I'm pretty sure this is 4K now. Alright, kitty. Oh, but that's not working. Katie is very unhappy. Oh, oh no, we went, it, something went very wrong. Okay, it crashed. Um, okay, so there is a problem. Let's see what the problem is. Um, yes, it's like Rosetta. Alright, so, um... This crashed on that address. Um, six one one two eight, and that is mapped on this one. It's hard to know what um. UAT index it was at, though. Hmm, that's pretty weird that um, it died there. So it looks like we do have the right, um... Yeah, it's definitely mapped there, um... really weird um crash to get because i mean it's something that's supposed to work that doesn't really care about the page size and i can see it is mapped so oh and that i guess it doesn't need a, a new line and let's just remove that also um Um, I wonder what, what, actually, what is the fault here? Let's, let's decode that because maybe it is, um, something different. Like something with the page sizes being different causing, oh, that would be interesting. Like a cache coherency issue. Let's just see what happens with that ESR. Um... Okay.
So we have, um... It's 26. That's 25. Okay, it's a data board without a change in accent. Yeah, um... Yeah, that looks right. And so for data board... Uh, we have 145 there. Um... Cash maintenance. Alright, so it's a cash maintenance instruction. Yeah, because it's clearing that. And then the DF DFSC, um, that is a... It's a 5. Wait, that's just a translation fault. Hypervisor, um, but it also crashed on bare metal, I think. Actually, we could try it on bare metal, yeah. It could be that it's just broken. Uh, let's try bare metal. Because it could totally be that the hypervisor is breaking something. And uh, there's also that conservative TLBI, um, flag I had. Is that even supported yet? I might have deleted that actually. Oh, it's in mem RS. Yeah, so we could just um, enable that and see what happens. Um, but this is not native, so let's try without the hypervisor. Uh, no, that is not working. It still crashed. Um, probably on the same thing. Yeah, it crashed on the same thing. So it's not the hypervisor. Or the hypervisor doesn't make it worse anyway. The interesting thing is that we are trapping those um, TLB invalidations. And the hypervisor is running with 16k pages. Um, so they should work. So maybe it isn't the TLB invalidations. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's something with the IOMMU code somehow? Um, let's just enable fault tracing and... And all the memory debug and all the other stuff and see if, uh... That does anything? I think that's also conservative TLBI. No, that's the next one. Let's also enable that. Let's just go full debug. Oh, that's like super slow now. Oh, because... Oh, because the project is not emulating some instruction. Uh, let's use the defer. I don't want to trace. Um, let's just defer for now. Okay, that initializes. Um... Okay, so there's Kitty there, and, um, still going. I think it died.
Okay, I think it died. Um, where did it die? There it died, and... Um, handoff, can I dump that? Yeah, so the handoff should contain the... Current context is one. And one does have that mapped. On 5,000. So when did it fall? It's mapped. Oh, and actually, interesting, it's, it's, um... Wait, map and unmap? Are you, like, unmapping too much somewhere? Okay, hold on, something is kind of weird here. So this is because of the debug stuff adding alignment. Um, map cycle. It's an unmap cycle. Oh, and that was like... Oh, wait, wait, that's like really old. Wait, there's like... Oh, is it because it's 4-8? Okay, yeah, it's because of the... Uh, because of the 4-8. Um... Okay, so that is... It's saying it's context one, and uh, that should be in here also. Actually, wait, isn't it in the rendering commands? Oh, did we fail to parse?
Oh, we failed the bar somehow. That's 3D, I think. Yeah, that looks right. Um... So I think it's the tail pointer cache that that buffer is about, and I think that's only in TA. So wait, which one's the TA command? Um... this one. Wait, that's not... Here, tail pointer. Wait a second. It died in 5,000. What is 5,000? It's not the tail pointer cache. Then what is it? It's context one. That's right. Or is it a different command that we fa uh, failed on? So if it's not the tail pointer cache, um, what is that? Yeah, so that's one of the U32 buffer things. Um, that's a page list. Oh, is that a page from the diode buffer cache? Oh, it's just a page list. Okay, so it's the page list from the buffer manager. Is it because we're like freeing this too early? But, I mean, it's there. So... If I parse with, um, recursion... Yeah, so there it is. It's, it's the block list from the tiled buffer manager. But why? Uh, the plasma theme is, um, is called Hot Pink. Good morning, Dina. I really enjoyed reading your new blog. Thank you so much! So why is it failing reading that? That's so weird. It kind of has to be something to do with the CPU pages. Is that that, like, cache coherency is broken or something in this case? Because that would be really not great. If 
because that's what it is. But it says it's not translation fault, so it shouldn't be that. Thing is, obviously this is something that Apple has never tried. Um, you know, a 4K kernel mode um, driver with this GPU, so... It's actually possible that there's a hardware bug that makes it not work, but... That would be really bad. No, no, this is a GPU problem. This is not a QD problem. Um... Uh, let's disassemble this and see exactly what it's doing. Um... Okay, this is doing a cash in Val. So why why would that fault? It's definitely in context one. Would be nice if I could see the TTBRs from this um, G uh, CPU when it crashed, but. Like the it's mapped. It's mapped at the address. There's why why would it not It's just a page list.
Oh, wait, 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 wait. The root page is not aligned. The page table base is not aligned. Okay, so it is the IUMU yeah, code's fault. Your page table. I your page. It's a bug in this code. Because all the sub pages are aligned, right? All the all of these are aligned. It's just the the top level one isn't. Like it's a fit. Uh, <clears throat> th this is um, bits per level. That's what we want. Um, and granule is. Yeah, that's right. The, um, for games to uh, try it, but uh, keep in mind that, you know, no Vulcan stuff, no Direct 3D12 stuff, um, and, um, you know, like, the, the older the better, basically, because, um, you know, we don't support OpenGL4 or anything. Um, so, I, I might try a lot of stuff, but, you know, don't expect, like, the latest games to work. Um...
Look, we, we have a UAT thing anyway. We can just, um... We can just hard coat that. We can just do that. Um, I think F5-2 is, um, likely to work, because I'm gonna try Portal 2, and they are... They use the same engine, right? Um, so we, we can try that. Okay, let's see if this works. Um, I'm pretty confident it's gonna work, so I'm gonna turn off the, um... All the crazy debugging. I, I am gonna run it with the Hypervisor, and with the Deferred Tracer, and with Panic on Crash. Uh, but not with all the crazy debug. Um, so that's a fix up, um, for this one. Um, I don't think Blink is gonna work. It's like a very simple thing, right? Uh, there's a lot of complexity that goes into, uh, into, you know, like making this work with actual games and stuff. didn't work. And we did crash on the same thing. Did I not fix it? Did I? Wait, did I forget to build or something? No. Oh. I think I forgot to I think I forgot to build, did I? No, that's just a commit. Uh, it's still not aligned. And did I get this wrong? Size is... That is size. Wind D3D, so we can uh, switch that. I, I'm planning on using a uh, Wind D3D for Proton. It should work. Just D3D12 is not gonna work. Um. Why did that not work? Did I just run it too quick before the kernel was built? OpenGL4, but I don't think it requires OpenGL4. We're gonna find the patch to switch as a Linux to 4K page size. It's not really uh, ready yet. Oh, hey, look at that! We got KDE, and now it's 4K! Uh, let me fix my history file. gonna use software rendering right now. Actually, it's gonna, um, fail on the IOCTOS, I think, because I just, um, synchronized it. Actually, I wonder if this is just, um, the native GLX gears. It might be. Um...
think it's probably self-rendering. Let's let's check the uh, H top. Uh, maybe not. Oh wait, no, it's because it's 64 bit. So 64 bit that might actually be working. Hold on. Um. Because it is running. Um. Okay, so maybe it is working. So that should be a 64 bit. Um. Build. And it is running under fix. And I I want to say the GPU is actually running. Uh, now how do you check that? Um, you can see what uh, files it has opened. 2832. You can just trace it. Uh, yeah, that looks like the driver, alright. Okay, so the driver works on 64-bit. And you don't need the thanks for that. But we need the thanks for 32-bit. Um, I don't know how to test that. I guess Steam would be a test for that. Uh, let's add that to Fex. So, uh, Fex, um... I need, um... In Fex here... I know there's some pants for stuff. Yeah, I have told emulation. Um, the Fex developer told me about this. Uh, let's just do it with SSHFS. So basically this, um... So basically, this is for converting um, 32-bit to 64-bit um, ioctals. And I think we just need to list them. Yeah, so it just needs, um, that kind of stuff. Do I really need that? Um, how does it know if it's, which one it is anyway? Oh, because it does that, okay. Can I just, like, default that and assume it's all, um... I guess we should do it properly anyway. Um... So let's go back to my ioctal definitions, which were where um over here. Something like that. Um,
think these are supposed to be in alphabetical order, so we go first. And the fan, um... I don't know if that's gonna compile, let's try it. Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, ah, uh, uh, what am I even doing? Uh, this is... in here. Yeah, so, um, where are the actual includes for this? Um, I have told the RM, maybe? Okay, it has its own thing. Um, external, maybe? DRM headers? Okay, that looks about right. Um, we need to just put it in there. So, let's do that. Um... Looks like it works! Um, does that make sense? Uh, because the, the UAPI is unstable right now. And I'm wondering if it makes sense to just have, um, like, ignore all the headers with the IOCTOS and just default to a pass-through. Because that way at least people could use this without having to also keep the header synchronized in FEX. I'm not sure if that would work, but I was wondering. So my necklace, it's the InnoTTT logo, which is the um, VTuber software that I use. It's open source, and it's written by Luna, who was uh, watching earlier, and sure if she's uh, still around. Um, alright. Let's try that again, Fix Bash, and I guess we try Steam now! Uh, the other thing is the, um, TSO emulation, which is not turned on on the kernel right now. Um, I'm wondering if I want to do that. It should uh, speed things up for other reasons. Also, right now I'm not forcing the um, OpenGL version, so... This is probably not going to run um, your games, but I think Portal is old enough it should work. Okay, um, I want to say that's faster than before. Let's see. Yeah, that looks faster already. The loading is slow, but uh, I would. I think that's. I think that's faster. That looks faster. Are we gonna try Portal? Are we gonna see if Portal works? Let's try Portal 1 first. Like three seconds per frame before or something. We do expect it to be slow loading. I mean, it is um, emulating on a 32 bit. Let's see what HDOP says. It's, it's doing stuff and it's not LVM pipe. Also, let me see if I can get some audio out to work. Hey, that looks like it's doing something. It's very slow though. I'm not sure if that's expected. 
It might not be using the GPU. I'm not sure. One sec. Let me, let me, um, let me plug in some audio just for curiosity. Okay, so that's obviously very slow. Um, it looks like software rendering, but I am not sure. Let's see what it's doing. Three, four, three, one. That doesn't look like it's doing hardware rendering. Okay. So, it's somehow still doing software rendering. Uh, let's check the max. Because it got the DRM. It doesn't look like it got the DRM. Um, so it has the render files open. I. It does have Apple DRI. And it it claims it got the Apple M1 in here in the shader cache. So. But we don't have um stats like GPU utilization, so that's not useful. Um, wait, did it die? Oh, okay. Uh, so we actually crashed on something. So it is running the driver. Interesting. Well, that's a nice, um, that's a new one because this is the debug build of the driver. Um, huh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try Portal 2, which I think is, um, I think they're both native Linux, but let's, let's try Portal 2 to see what happens. This is, I mean, of course, this is the official uh, version of Steam. Steam isn't open source. Um, let me, um, go back and look at that file first. Um, So there's that to do in there, which, um, yeah, that could be, that could be interesting. Um,
Let's try Portal 2. Vulcan shaders, but I don't think it's processing Vulcan shaders of all things. Yeah, maybe some other games can work, but I, I want to get Portal working. I mean, this is a, this is just a debug build of Mesa. I can just comment out that you hurt. It probably won't be too broken. Um. Taking a while on that. I'm gonna copy and paste this and send it to Alyssa. Um, stuff I kind of feel like fix is very slow in general is this um is it supposed to be very noticeably slower without the uh, TSO thing because I can just try turning that off and make it actually use TSO okay it is doing stuff this just feels very slow in general right now Maybe we can look at that while it does that shader thing. Um. Yeah, so we have that turned on, so that slows everything down. But if we do that, we probably want to actually turn on TSO. And that's an act of EL1 bit 1. So I think if we set that, we'll be good. So let's do that. Um, and you want to make this an actual option so people can use it. Um, We have, uh, yeah, we have S-T-R-T-L-U-L. Maybe T-Y? No, um... Wait, do we have that? Um, we might not have a CR to you out. Um... Let's just do this.
actually, we can just do a call here. Um... And we want to wait on the call for, um... Can we do that somewhere? Yeah. That should work. Um, might be break working on the hypervisor though, but and then we just need to um, enable TSL. Do we have those bits defined here yet? Um, Hypervisor. So it probably works. Um, maybe. We might need to enable it um, upstream first. I'm not sure. Anyway, the bit is one, so... Hey, yeah, that seems to work. Um... Okay, that is very slow. Why is it still doing that? Okay, let's just kill it and see if it's a lot faster without that. Um, actually, I can skip that apparently, so let's skip it first. Uh, Box32 does not work on Apple Silicon. It only does 32-bit on 32-bit on emulation. That's why we're using Fex. Fex is basically the only viable option for this. I'm kind of tired of uh, how slow this is. Let's just, um, let's just kill it. And see about, um, disabling the TSO stuff. Um, and I need, let's change the script for that. I think I can also just not use the hypervisor anymore. It might break things. Um, um, I need, um, Alright, Linux.py isn't gonna use that, so I need, um, something else here. So it needs to be re-implemented here. Oh, 
and also we need to somehow pass this onto the guest. Which probably means that should be done here. Actually, no, we can just do in payload and set a, uh... In k we can do that, actually. Um... Do a law property, and I think that might work. And then we need to do the same thing in Linux.py. And does that do a set chosen? Do we have that in the hype in the uh, mini proxy? Uh, yeah, we do. So if we do if um if arcs TSL, we need to do the same thing here with every secondary. Oh, we don't have the SLI function on this. Um, I guess we don't. I guess we need to add that. Um, So we add that one, and then we add that to the Python side. Yeah, that should be fine. Um... Doesn't matter if we do too many because it's gonna check. Um
And then we have the call stuff. Um, and there was a way to do MSRs like that. Um, somehow. Um, Yes, this isn't because sync, um... I think that should work. do the k-boot um chosen thing that and actually do some commits um oh i forgot to actually uh, wrap that um alive and um, cpu request is alive cpu Sounds reasonable and um and then we enable to use on here. Oh wait, it's not one two, it's one one. And see if that's faster. Ah, that didn't work. Oh wait, um Right, it's not pool. I need a. Uh, how do you do that? Um. Is that how, you, how that worked? Org parse. How do you work? Oh, it doesn't need a type then. Just action. Didn't go well. Uh, 
Uh, possibly something with the executable address. again it does read an RXE of one yeah that should work why is that not working oh because the MMU is not turned on Because, okay, yeah, um... Okay, yeah, that's just dumb. I need to do something about that. Um... How do we make it not use that region? Oh, just not set it, probably. Worked. I think that worked. I don't know if TSO is actually enabled, but we're gonna assume it is. Uh, let's see if we get the the chosen flag. In there should be a zero length one length apparently okay because an alternator anyway um the, yeah that, that'll work so now i can turn off tso emulation it should be a lot faster so open up the config and um hacks tso enabled I'll save. And I'll try Steam. Uh, so we still have the GPU driver problem, but let's see if it's faster now at least. Feels a bit faster, yeah. It does our task bar text details. What do you mean? might not be faster um but let's see uh, the actual game let's try portal 2 let's see if that's any faster now crashing so either it doesn't care about TSO or what I just did worked I 
coming in. Let's wait a bit and see if that finishes. Uh, yes, I, I, I will test other games. Just, like, let's get one game running properly first. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's processing shaders. I should be able to skip it, but I'm just wondering if I should let it finish. Just so it doesn't, um... Just so that it doesn't annoy, um, annoy me with this every time. Remember, this is OpenGL 2.1 still. I haven't enabled the override to, uh... To support higher GL versions, but portals should work on 2.1 as far as I know. Okay, let's just skip it. Uh, can I disable precaution somewhere? Oh, now it, oh, it's fast. Oh, that's way faster now. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Hold on, can I get... Can you get audio on this? Hey! It's doing things! It's doing stuff. And keep in mind, this is emulated, so it takes time to, like, um, translate the code to ARM. And it doesn't do ahead of time. Um, I don't have the cache turned on like um, Rosetta does, so it's normal for the startup to be slow. And whatever it's doing now is single-threaded also, so... Also, keep in mind, my capture card here is 30 FPS, even though, um, the actual display output is 60 FPS, so, um, if it, and also I am watching it through the capture, so there's some latency, which will be kind of bad for playing, um, but if this looks good and we want to do, like, a real game, I might hook up the HDMI directly. Okay, that's kind of slow, but, oh, no, no, it's faster now, I think it was just that one screen. Um, hey, that's not bad, um, let's, let's go to the, okay, that's... A bit slow. Also, remember this is a debug mesa, so... Um... Can I show FPS or something? So, is it CPU bound? It's not quite CPU bound. Uh, let me see if I can get some audio working. second, I want to get the audio too. Ah, uh, looks like the headphone jack isn't working. Oh, maybe I don't have the right drivers for this. Oh, I, I just quit it by accident. Whoops, uh, hold on. Let me, uh, check that real quick. Oh, I don't, I think I don't even have the audio drivers installed. Okay, hold on, let's... Let's set that. Yeah, we don't have like any audio stuff in this kernel. Okay. That's been taking very long to rebuild. Let's let's get that because I do want to get audio. I want my audio. And yeah, I probably need the F32, so let me also get that done. Um Sahi. Uh 
um, X86 Arch. Ah, oh, whoops. Um, oh, it's, I'm already in there. Um, where? There. Yes, I can turn the music off. Uh, looks like I do have Live32 also plug in, so that's probably fine. And let's also get the Live32 pipe wire stuff, I guess. Um, and probably pipe wire also. Do I have any Asahi desktop stuff here? Alright, no, I wouldn't because of course I wouldn't because this is um 32 bit, yeah. Um Yeah, so I definitely need the pipe part also stuff. Okay, let's see if that gets the right libraries for all that. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to try it. Um, Flat Tech can't use the GPU drivers. It's even more um, annoying than everything. Okay, let's go with that. Um... So we're gonna sync. Wait, password? What? That's not supposed to happen. Oh wait, I, I didn't reboot it. Um yeah, of course. Um Okay, it's compiled. Let's get it put it. Okay, that looks right. And uh, that looks like we probably have audio. Uh, I should have the UCM config here, I think. Yeah, that's installed. Okay. Let's see if we get the headphone jack working now. Oh, it's... Okay. I'm getting some noise. Um, I think that might be a... That bug that we... Oh, no. Okay. It's, a, it's that bug that some people were seeing. Whoops. Um, okay. That might be a problem. Well, that's nice that this happened because we couldn't figure out what was causing this. So that would be something to debug, but probably not now. So I am only going to give me a second. I'm going to plug in a USB sound card and we'll use that for now. Uh, one second.
I'm back, and I think that's gonna work now. Um... Okay, that is very broken, though. It's, um... Let's turn that off! Let's turn that off! It's funny, I'm hearing some weird noises now when it rebooted, um, but that's fine. Sounds right. Okay, stretch team again. It's a second Mac with video capture, yes. That's how I do all, all my development. This is um, an M1 Mac Mini. Um, and my actually my main machine here is not an M1. It's just uh, an Intel machine. My streaming machine, though, is... Um, I just realized something. It has to be... <coughs> sorry, stream should be a bit smoother now. Um, yeah, my streaming machine is an M2. And I keep forgetting to minimize Carla, which is still in the old driver before the recent updates. Um, and uh, that uh, ends up slowing everything down for some reason. How do I turn off uh, the caching? And that. Okay, let's try that. I don't want to turn this theme overlay stuff on because that just complicates everything. Oh, I got audio! That works! Let's see how long it takes to start up. Ah, uh, see, show FPS one. I'll try that. Thanks. Yeah, whatever it does on startup, I think it's just like building a bunch of stuff, and it's it's pretty slow. Um, so we'll see. You can do it. You can do it. I, I, I'm gonna let it start before I turn on the FPS display. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, this is looking not terrible. It's a little bit, um... It's a little bit laggy, but let's see. Let's see if we get in the, uh, 
So definitely want to turn off anti-aliasing because that's not gonna work. Um, the details are on very high right now. Um, shift tab doesn't work. Uh, you don't know how to get the console. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna turn off VSync and see if that's better. I think we are maybe CPU bound though. It's definitely using a lot of CPU. Also, we might have the um let me use the performance trick. That may be a bit smoother now. Okay, so that goes to enabled. And now how do I actually get there? Ah, there we go. I don't know if that actually worked. Does it only run it during the game or something? I get the feeling the menu was laggy and it was always gonna lag you in Portal, but let's see about the actual game. Also, remember, this is a debug Mesa, um, so I want to switch to a release build. Because debug is going to be way slower. Uh, the Steam overlay just complicates everything, just trust me. I, I don't want to go there right now. It, it's, it, it doesn't help. Yeah, it does, like, whenever it loads textures and stuff, it's just really slow. Um, but Ocho, that probably also is related to Mesa. Actually, okay, now, let's do that. Let's kill that. I know I'm, I know I'm like, really delaying the, uh... The inevitable here, but, um... Let me get this closed. And let's get a release build of Mesa, which I already have ready, so that's good. I didn't even sync this properly. I'm not even sure if I did. I think I forgot to sync it, so I guess the um, the pipe wire stuff was already there. Um, yeah, so I guess I didn't need that, but let's do it anyway. And then sync Mesa non-debug. Uh, did I build those after the fit? Yeah, I should have. So now we should have a proper release um, version of Mesa on here. I the it's often a good thirty percent or something, but it depends on the workload, and I think it's going to be much more under effects because of the emulation. So let's see how that goes. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this thing is enough. Uh, the the this is only a thirty-two bit. Th sorry, the um um EX eighty-six. But a build of Mesa. KDA is um, ARM64, so it doesn't care. And that looks pretty good. Alright, let's see let's see how the actual game goes here. Um can I get on the FPS? Am 
what was the other one? Nithgraf? Alright, let's just try a yeah, single player. Let's see if it runs faster now. No, that's wrong. That's hitched up on the wrong face. Okay, there we go. It's doing whatever it's doing. Oh, it's loading. It's loading. It's getting there. Oh, that is a very ugly overlay. Good morning. You have been All suspended right. for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal 40 regulations, FPS or so. all testing candidates in the Aperture not Science super, not Extended terrible. Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for hey, a mandatory that's physical not bad. and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. It's Sandy P. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look but down at the floor. But it looks very CPU animated to me. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory So I would expect it to also be pretty fast at 4K at this point. Because I don't think it's CPU limited. On the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Uh, uh, wrong keyboard. That's not the right keyboard. This is the right keyboard. This is art. Not you will bad. Hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual uh, did sustenance, I set reflect the performance briefly on I think this classical did. music. It was like 0 0.3 FPS for some rendering. Return to your bed. Some of the stuttering is from the capture card. Good morning. You have been in suspension for. Nine, 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 nine. Also, keep in mind there is Anyone gonna be like um tearing due to the capture card. Are you gonna open the door? Will be any time. Exercised his or her right to remain Hello? Okay. relaxation no. for the duration of the destruction. Are you gonna open this door? So the other problem is that there's a um. Or if you Hold on. A Spanish language oh, it's too dark, and I know why it's too dark. Hello, friend. Why not open the door? Good luck. Hmm. Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde That's esta? better. I can see a bit more. Um, fine. No. For absolutely fine. Ah. I, ah. God. God. You look. Te um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you I okay? I got your card. Uh, you? Color calibration is a bit off. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Definitely CPU limited. Look, it's doing like 100% CPU. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say Apple. Hey, Brian, Apple. thank you so much for the super chat. Apple, that's a good thing. Okay, you that's know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. I mean, this is definitely CPU limited. Um, and also because it's 32 bit, there's no thunking, hey, look, so it's running you. emulated Mesa. Hot water here. How you doing down there? It's running emulated oh, Mesa. Um. So a 64-bit game should be a 
A little faster once we get the tanks in. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? Hey Ryan, how do we improve the uh, CCU performance on this? Actually, pro fighting is going to be interesting. I'm not sure if those pixel glitches are supposed to be there. That could be a bug in the driver. I might do some work on Fex uh, if I get interested in that, yeah. Those pixel glitches were interesting, that might be a driver bug. Kind of looks like Z fighting or something. It's like tile based somehow, maybe. I don't know. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. To be I honest, that bug fits the station. mood very well. <laughs> it, lo it looks like very appropriate. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember. Our thing is totally CPU limited. Phones. Like 70%, I mean, it's not going to be perfectly using 100% of the CPU, so if it's doing like 70% CPU, it's almost definitely a CPU limited. Okay, I can move now. There we go. Hello, and again, welcome to. Oh, I remember this. This is the, this is the Portal One. We are currently experiencing technical room. difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols. Testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support. All right, so yeah, geo thread. We should enable even that. Even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse, the portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two. Let's one. do a bit of uh. Let's get to the point where I can save something. And uh, and then see if we can enable geo thread. I don't know if that's gonna. Freak everything, maybe we'll try it. Hey, Monkey Voodoo, thank you so much for the super chat! If cube and button based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice. Yeah, let me get slim. let me get through like a sum test chamber and Please and see if we can save something and then go back and try enabling geoth right and see if it goes faster. Oh it crashed! Oh my god! Okay, well I guess we're enabling geoth right now. Uh, that was interesting. Segmentation fault. Okay, maybe I should use uh, debug Mesa, and then we can try to use thread. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, let's let's go back to debug Mesa. I mean, that's you know not unexpected that there were debugs. Um, so let's get the debug Mesa in there. But I do want to comment out that one. Um. It could also be a fix bug, to be honest, but um, I suspect that's just the Mesa issue somewhere. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Um, I want to be in Mesa. Asahi. Compiler. And so I'm going to disable this one assert for now because we know that's broken. Um, and that might, of course, assert certain other things on Portal 2 now, but we'll try. Um, but what I mean now is to compile that. Where am I? Where's my truth? Where's my truth? Where's my truth? Here's my truth. Um, I really want to add these to the sync stuff, actually. Um... Delete doesn't work that okay.
I think that um, should be fine. And then go back to sync Mesa debug. And let's try that again. Probably don't need to restart Steam because it's just going to load the new drivers anyway. So let's just try going back to that. I mean, if it, if it crashes, I can't debug it without debug mode, Mesa. Uh, re the previous one was release mode. Also, I'm not enabling GeoThread yet. I should do that. Hold on. Let's, let's try with GeoThread. Um, actually, that's going to be a bit annoying to... Um... I don't know how to... Um... I guess I just want to start it directly like this um let me see if i can just start the game directly so i don't have to restart out of steam um Let me change my keyboard repeat rate because it's like super slow right now. Um, you can see with the lag that I'm like bad at aiming with my mouse. It is kind of laggy. Um, okay, so how do I enable to your thread? it um in the launch options but i want to do it directly because it's i want to change it a lot and um how do i do that actually i don't know how to do that okay what's just that i don't know why it's not on the list but it should work didn't work um oh don't i don't have the bin format stuff i guess i need to re-register that but i can just fix bash anyway oh uh wait what why would that happen oh because of the steam runtime right um how do i steam runtime all the things I guess I need that. No, that doesn't work. Kind of annoying. Maybe I just use it out of steam. Or fix config. And uh, does fix config like auto apply to every new process? should work um by the way what i'm here is 500 block size right the default was 5000 i'm not sure if that's a good idea also i set this to eight i'm not sure if that's correct or not oh 
Oh, zero is auto attacked, okay. Ryan knows all about what options um, will work here. I, I, I'm trying not to touch the defaults on this. Um, he tells me what to do. I guess the multi block should be off. What about the block size? Five thousand. Okay, I'll uh, just leave it at five hundred then. Um, save that and try that again. if it dies now and uh, what it dies with because uh, normally when the release makes a uh, sick faults uh, very often there's an assert that would fire on the debug one so we'll find out let's see if we can see the threads actually Right now, it's doing something else. All right, it was true instead of one. Ah, uh, that might be important. How do I edit that? Can I edit that? Oh, that's wrong. Ah! Okay, let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Loading, loading, loading. Viewers, nice. Can we get to 100? I'm gonna try more games. I might try Team Fortress 2 later. Um, because remember, right now we're still on the old um, GL version, but we can try uh, newer stuff. Mm, doing stuff, doing stuff. We're loading. All right, here we are. Ah, oh, that looks a bit smoother almost than before. Q Hold on. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Cause I don't have the console science. turned on. Even, even, even. Was it netgraph? What? 
Hey, graph one. Then a dire emergency. Oh yeah, and it's about the same. Um, are we threading? We're doing, I think we're doing some threading, so that might be better. But it's also the debug version, so we expect it to be slower. Um, that's where it crashed last time, was it? Kind of. No, it's just slow. This is where it crashed. This aperture science material emancipation drill will And it's not crashing now. Oh, it did. Okay. Uh, did we... Did we get anything? No, just a sec fault. Okay, debugging. That is gonna be interesting. Okay, so... <clears throat> um... Ryan, it, what's the right way to debug uh, this kind of stuff? Like, should I just attach DDB outside of FEX? Or does FEX support attaching DDB inside? Or what? Um, what's the right way to get at least a backtrace with, uh, you know, with the... With Mesa and stuff? He's gonna start by breaking down crying. GDB servers above and with a touch capacity and it's a bit buggy. I mean, we, we really need at least, um, you know, backtraces to debug any of this. Like, if I attach it outside of FX, would it at least give me... Well, I guess it'll give me a backtrace of JIT code, which isn't useful. Maybe we should destroy some other games for now. Um So I think I'm gonna need some help from Ryan to figure out how to start debugging this. <laughs> debugging across emulators is quite painful uh, when, when the tooling isn't quite there. Yeah, that's the thing. If we had thunks. Uh, but this game is also 32-bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's 32-bit, I think, so... Um, that also... Is, that wouldn't work. Because there's no thanks, uh, thanks there. Alright, um... So, let's try... Um, I don't know what... I think I have Team Fortress 2 installed. I don't know what GL version that requires, though. Uh, but we probably need to, at the very least, um, set up the overrides. Um, so let's do that. Let's pretend we have OpenGL 3. Um... Which means we need those overrides, um, mostly. Actually, what was the mapping between GSL versions? I think that was supposed to be 3.3 three for everything. Um... I just leave that running, um, and uh, let's just try Team Fortress 2 and see what happens. We know Minecraft works. Minecraft is already, uh, I don't have Minecraft, but other people have used it and that works fine.
Again, remember this is Debug Mesa, so we expect it to be slow, but if we're lucky we hit an assert or something. Play isn't quite running there. Uh, so this happens sometimes that, um, I think the, the browser times out because of the emulation. And it's kind of painful. I don't know if there's a better way of doing this. Um, it's, it's just like when you click it, it takes so long to to show up um, that it like times out or it's something with a store page. Is there a way of... Um, oh, small library mode. Right. Uh, let me do that. Where was that? Um, oh yeah, that looks better. Oh, you just double click it. Nice. Open jail. Apple M1 3.3 compatibility profile. That looked good. Oh, that didn't work. Ah! Segmentation fault! <laughs> Whoops! Ah, uh, that didn't work very well. Um, I guess let's try not enabling those overrides. I don't know if um, TF2 supports 2.1 though. And also, I think Steam also died there. Because then the friendly quest I can say it's already. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's try without the overrides just to see if it's any better. Um, it looks like Steam crashed. Yeah, okay, that's that's pretty not working. Um, yeah, I went to DL 2.1. Um, Ryan, we need a way to debug this. Um, let's try some other game. Thread. Let's turn off the thread, I guess. So let's try on TF2 in uh, 2.1 mode without the thread. That's the very crashing steam, if nothing else. Um, but it says default value overwritten by environment, even though I'm not setting it anymore. Um, I wonder if that didn't like... Oh, maybe it inherited it from Bash because I ran Bash with that. Uh, this isn't Proton yet. These are native Linux games. And it looks like it's still crash theme. Ah, no, that still doesn't work. So it's um, it's a sec fault. I need a debugger.
Okay, Luna, let's try Terraria. Let's see what happens with that. Fifteen minutes? Is it gonna take that long to download? It's got ten minutes now. Um, oh, wait, it's already synchronizing. Okay, I, I don't know. This Likes DL 2.1. Oh, we got something. Looks like we got something. Hey, that works. And it's pretty smooth, too. Let's get settings. Uh, video. Let me show FPS or something. Let's make it a bit larger. Do I um catch show FPS? Or is it just like a hidden thing or something? Yeah, so it's like JIT on JIT, right? Um, but it is looking I mean it's smooth here. At least as far as I can see with the capture card. What is a bit low, why? Alright, and it's... I need to create a world, I guess? I don't know how this works. Um, fix random button. So this is looking pretty good. Like it's smooth. And I don't want to use the Steam Overlay because that just complicates things. The Steam Overlay is like historically painful. <laughs> Linux. F10? Oh, there we go. Hey, 60! It says 60. That means 60 FPS, right? Even if I like wobble it, let's see how long it takes.
can do it! Almost there. Your nice says it's supposed to take a while, so... Looking good. That's a very empty map right now. I don't know how this game works, by the way, so... This, this looks like a very empty world. Is there supposed to be stuff eventually? Oh, there's stuff here. Oh, I can't... I can't go that high. Oh, I can. But then I can't go higher than that. It's about 40 FPS right now. Probably also CPU on... And remember, this is a debug build still, so... Oh, yeah, that is CPU bound. That is totally CPU bound. Build this up and if you keep walking the way you're there, yeah. I've never played this! I don't know how to play it! Ah, uh, so that kind of thing, right? So you can take stuff? Yeah, it's it's definitely CPU bound. Again, this is a debug mesa build. I should probably uh, switch to release. Ah, uh, let me do that actually real quick. See, did I build the release one with the change? Um, oh, again, wrong. Ah, I'm not supposed to be there. Supposed to be there. So let's get a release mesa in and and try that again. Should be faster. But I guess what we really need is, um, is 32-bit thunks. Because that would probably, uh, do a lot to improve everything, really. It's still 40 FPS or so, so maybe it's limited. Oh, uh, so we have 55s now. I see 50s now, so I think I improved a bit. Okay, I still have no idea how to play this game. <laughs> like, is it just a, you know, like where you totally build your own stuff? There's no, like, story? But yeah, it's like 56 or so now, so it's not bad. Um,. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Also, it's very small. Um, I guess... Um... Let me full screen this. That just makes the window larger. I don't know 
all the key bindings. Yeah, right. It's gonna be like mono. Double jitting, right? Which is not great. I have no idea what to do in this game. Sorry, I'll have to. I'll have to go. To, let's leave it for uh, some time when I um, like. I can maybe do a, a call with Luna and we can figure something out. Uh, but now I just want to try a bunch of games. So Terraria works. And it's slow because you know double jit on mono and everything. And it looks like it's mostly CPU bound on not TL. I'm guessing because it didn't change with the release Mesa. So let's try uh, something else. Um. What's a good game? Maybe Fez? That's looking good. I've never played most of these games, by the way. Hey, that looks pretty good. Oh, it's the arrow keys, okay. It's trying to use like WASD. <laughs> works. Oh, that's cute. That's, a, that's like a really cute... Walk up to the mailbox, okay. Next control. Okay, this is smooth. This is totally working fine. That font is hard to read. <laughs> okay. Okay, that, so that's where I am. Okay, so yeah, that means it is, um... So I guess I need to go up or something? Oh, I just did something silly. Ah. Actually, what, what's in here? There's not VGM in this game. I can put on my VGM. At least right now. There's nothing here. Anything in the box? No. That's locked. Okay. And I guess I need to... Yeah, that's... That kind of thing. Hey, kitty! Let's see what's in here. Like, um, I, I'm on the, you know, 30 PS capture card, but it just feels like it's not, um, it just really isn't, um, 
How do I, how do I go up there? I need to go on top of the mailbox? Oh, that was... Okay. Do I need to go here? What's in here, actually? Something there, but I have no idea what to do with that. So do I need to go up here? Oh no, that was a bad idea. Can I climb up the? I need to get to the. Oh, can I jump from there to there? Oh, that works. Let's see what's in here. Just a kitchen, I guess? Hello! Can you get on the pipe? No. Oh, okay. See, because of the lag, um, I mean, like, coordinated jumps is gonna be a little bit tricky. Because <laughs> I, I have less latency. Because this is uh, on the capture card. Um, can I read something there? No. Today is a special day. Winter is ready. It's coming time. Okay. Remember the cube when the driver when we first got the cube? Upper cube! I have no idea what that says. Oh, they are the cube! That's really smooth though. This game is like totally playable. for the symbols there. Oh. Pretty Lena went someday. It reminds me of um, Super Paper Mario, which did something similar. Oh, that's glitching. That's 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 very very glitchy. <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> that's great. Um, okay? So I guess we start over again, but now... Can I 
play the drums? Uh, looks like I can't. Okay, I don't know if there's anything I can do here. Hey, BGM, nice. Oh, there's like a, a poly something there. Hypercube? Oh, that's a hypercube. I think that's a hypercube. Something went wrong. Dot. Ah, that's so cute. This game is really lovely. Pressure. Nice. Here, fragment. Okay, what's around? So how does that work? Oh, okay. Um. Nice. Before, but now there's a. Uh, not. Is it right before? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, but I can do. Okay, so I see how it works. If I'm in front of something that like moves me in that dimension, and then I can do that. That's very interesting. So that's like a double. Okay, that that's very. Oh, I see. On yet. Hey, another cube. Oh, you can see the inside. That's interesting. Oh, there's another cube. How do I get to the... Oh, I see. Okay, so I need to like hang on that. You stab me. Okay, I can't hang on that apparently. Oops. How do I um? Can I go on the right on that? No, I can't. And I and the fall damage is pretty uh pretty strict. I guess I can't get on there. How do I get up? How do I get up? Oh, I see. And... Aha! Alright, what else is there here? I see, I see how the, how the perspective works there. Um... Can I go anywhere interesting? I see, okay. Can I jump there? Is that too far? No, it's not. Pressure chest! Press it from the front and press L control. Got a key! That should open that door that was locked that was, um, somewhere. Uh, 
Um, was I in here? Oh, there's another cube! This <laughs> be pretty, but don't do it again. Uh, oh wait, there's another door here. Oh, I see, and the doors stay open when you've already been there, so that's a nice sign. Oh, I see, okay, I see what we're doing here. Oh yeah, the drum got these things. That's interesting. That means they probably do like playback um, separate tracks and they don't synchronize them. Um, how do I drop down? Can I drop down? Or do I just need to like... Oh, that was bad. Um... Can I just go down here? Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 working nicely. Can I be in a new direction? Whoa! Oh, is that the last one? I got the cube! Nice. So, um, let's unseal the door and, uh... Actually, I want to know about that, um... Oh, I can do that. Oh, that's cool. Um... Oh, there's something I haven't done there. Or at least I haven't been here since um, last time. There's nothing here. I think. So we're not there. Oh, okay, wait, wait, what are you saying? No, this is the door. So it's, it's a camera, right? Um I'm not sure if I can do anything with it though. I can't do anything with it. Alright, so, um... Okay, yeah, I can do it. Go down. Oh, that was interesting. That was, that was kind of glitchy there. I want... Is that a driver back? It didn't happen again. I don't know what that was. Um, there's another door here. I'm just gonna check everything. I assume there is something about that wall thing that eventually has a meaning, but it looks like right now I can't do anything. Another door. Oh, there's the locked door. Okay, that's where I want to go. Okay, is that the locked door? Wait, how do I go there? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, that's cool. That, that's, okay. So you go through the hole by, yeah. That's an interesting mechanic. I got another key. And I have two keys. Which means, there should be more than one thing to unlock. Um, how do I go up again? I need something there. And there's my key and my locked door. Let's see what's inside. Whoa, is that a map? Treasure map! yourself. Nice. Um, 
interesting machine here. I'm guessing there's not much to do here right now. I mean, we will run more games. I, I wanted to just play a bit of Fez. Um, and to prove that it's stable also. And, um, looks like I can go to the door now. Okay, there it is. Spoilers! Whoa! Listen! Hey, that's very Zelda. And that's a bit of the village. So we can also can use the world map. I just come here the world map. Oh, nice. Okay, so... I see, okay? I see how this is going. That's cute! That's a cute little... Duck or whatever that is. Birdie. Birdie, 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 birdie. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh, no, that was a bad idea. Oh, can I just jump through that? Oh, I can, okay. That's easy. Oh, now, oh, I see you can you can do it by the jump. Okay, I, I can see that coming up in the future. Mm, interesting. The perspective here is just very. If I'm just taking the best table, that I use that one a lot. Yep, that's how it works. Alright, can I go through it? Yay! And then is there another door here? Or something? Yes! Alright, that is looking good. Whoa! Check this place out. Important that. Yeah. Alright, maybe. Oh no, wait. And the door. Four cubes. Eight. Sixteen. I see powers of two going on. Okay. <coughs> um. I think we want to. Um. Do I need to save or can I just quit? I think I can just quit probably and they'll save for me. saved <laughs> all right um next up what are we trying what are we trying so we know that um source engine games have some sec fault issue we need to debug and i'm gonna have to uh i'm really gonna have to ask uh, for uh brian's fault on that <laughs> uh we know that arminia works natively i'm curious um and also that i think that needs to 3 which isn't enabled now so i wonder what happens if i try emulating it Mute. Yeah, so that didn't work because it wants OpenGL3. It's using Angle on Vulcan? What? Okay, I have no idea what I tried to do. LVM pipe, really? Okay, how do we turn off Angle? Because that's definitely not gonna work. Wait, but this is like... This should be a native game. Okay, I didn't like that. Um... Is that- that should totally be a native game.
Okay, we're gonna try uh, using the overrides now. I'll just gonna run do all of the steam with that and see what happens. I'm just gonna turn on Geo Thread if it wasn't already. Miss a Geo version override. So no native Darwinia works totally fine. Uh, with one little rendering glitch. Um, just trying to see if the emulated one worked. Let's see if that works with GL3.3. I don't know what it's doing now. I'm not sure what it's doing. It's just running. I think it might be a bit confused. It says running, but I'm not sure what it's running. It doesn't look like it's running. Um, I stop it from here. Let's try that again. It looks like it just um, doesn't work. That's kind of weird that it dies like that. Maybe it's the thread then. Um, let's try without the thread, but with the overrides. Ah, oh, no, that isn't doing that. Um. Turn off the other thread and just use the overrides. I don't know if those Geo versions are right anyway, so I could just be wrong. I'm still kind of amazed that my, like, horrible hack on the... <laughs> on the, um... The shared memory stuff isn't making everything explode. <laughs> I don't know if huge pages are broken, but... No, it looks like it just doesn't work. When I increase the GL version somehow. Um, okay, let's try something else. Uh, what's a good thing to try? FTL? Let's try installing that. That's another thing to try. Oh, I wanna try Ebenob. I wanna try Ebenob. I wanna see if that works. So I wanna play that with Luna. 
Did that not work? Um, DLX visual... It looks like it needs more GL. Okay, um... I really want a way of just launching these things from the um, Steam runtime. Um, hold on, let me try, um... What, what versions do I want to use anyway? Um, I know there's um, some like table of this stuff and I might have this wrong. So 3.3 is up in GL3.3. What about GLES? Um, oh, 3.2 for that one. So I'm not sure about the uh, GLSL version. But 3.3 should be doing the right thing, I think. Maybe just Glass 3.2, but I don't think Glass matters here. I'd be surprised if it really wants like GL4 or something. Uh, Quake 3 works, by the way. We tried that. Yeah, but that looks like it's just requesting like a really big GL version or something. Um, GLX visual. I have to investigate that. Um, oh, nice! It's literally a .dev file. Maybe I can try without the runtime. Um, but it'd be nice if. Uh, Let's try some other thing. Let's try Osmos. That sec faulted immediately! Whoops. Um, it looks like we definitely have some sec fault issue going on. Let's try World of Goo. That looks like it might work. Yeah, that looks right. And it looks smooth! Nice! Yeah, that totally works! That is totally working! Yep, that works! before by the way um Green float frame buffers for the window. I don't know. I think 
it should be supported. Unity session, but I mean, we know we know that works, right? Because you've tried it with the driver, with creator, and stuff. <laughs> and just break through a couple levels of this, and then we'll try session. Oh, that's not almost there. Come on. I kind of want to plug in this uh, with the like proper, not the capture card, like the proper display output now, so you can get it in 60 FPS. Because it's definitely uh, doing better than this. It's just the capture card right now is gonna make it look uh, like 30. But yeah, that's pretty smooth. Bound, it's CPU bound, so it's either a fix issue or um, just driver overhead because it's not, it's not thunked, so it's emulating the driver also. Uh, but it's definitely CPU bound, not CPU bound. All right, uh, well, World of Goog works, and I can spend hours on this, uh, but that's nice. Uh, what else do we want to play? Uh, let's turn on only Linux games. That's a nice game to try. Is there anything newer we want to try? Because I don't have a lot of stuff. Um, I can want to try stuff that requires Dio 3. Tiny and big? I don't know that game. It's not the emulation has too much overhead. Is the issue. So that, that should be improved in the future. Well, okay. I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen. Planetary Annihilation. Is that here? No. I assume BitTree is, is gonna... Oh, so this isn't filtering properly by... Linux if it was showing Age of Mythology at the top. That doesn't look right. So I'm pretty sure there's no Linux version of that, so... Maybe this means because of the emulation. Um, just, for, just for fun, let's see about energy session. works. Um, I need to drag and drop my model into this, right? I wonder if that's actually gonna work. I think I have my model in here somewhere. Yay! That works. 
Alex? I'm obviously the trekking isn't, uh... Why am I looking to the side? Whoa, that's like the worst pose. What happened there? It's like everything's zero. I think when I mean, all the parameters are zero, I think that's what you what you get. Um, that's a very sad... Lena! <laughs> that's like zero, 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 Lena! <laughs> That's funny. Um, uh, I forgot I, I did show the, the parameters. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that works. So, um, it's good to know that that's fine. Um. I was not expecting that. It definitely has default parameter up, um, settings. So I'm not sure what I'll keep <laughs> Um, is there a way to run Steam and virtualize them for games natively? I mean, the games are for x86, not ARM, so they have to run emulated. Um, it's just not virtualized, it's just emulated. I mean, I can buy some games if I must. Um, Beat Saber is definitely not gonna work, also. Why is that even showing up when the Linux mode thing is on? That's, that's like broken. Try ah. Uh... I guess try that. Oh, that also crashed. Uh, I'm gonna switch again to the debug. Which piece am I using now? I forget. Let's let's make sure I have the debug one. Yeah, just to see if we are. Dying on that or not? No, it's just dying, um, aborted, and I don't know why. Let's try the other option. Um, that also didn't work. It did. No, it did. Okay. Um, let's go on simple. Let's go windowed. No, that doesn't work. Let's try pretty runner. So the one I was downloading earlier was which one? Uh... But I thought I just downloaded it. Maybe try Osmos. No, oh, that just sec faults. There, there's some sec fault bug somewhere, and it's probably something dumb. But I need a way to debug it to make it work. So let's try BitTrip. Missing executable, what? That's... That's weird. Is it just like not... Let's try BitTrip beat. It just looks like it's broken. Uh, let's swing into Steam Play settings. I guess let's restart Steam. Yes, it showed .exe, but I do know that some games like compile their Linux binary as .exe for some reason, so that doesn't mean it was Windows. And yet, I, I get the feeling it was just a broken Linux native uh, build.
Bitrip isn't showing up now. Are those like not Linux native? I thought the Bitrip was Linux native. Maybe not. No, it is. Sorry. I was confused. Um, let me try Bitrip beat. Oh, okay. So that's, that's not Linux. So runner is Linux native. Um, beat isn't. And it looks like it's just broken. What's in there? Um, there's nothing there. It just looks like those games are completely missing the Linux files. Or something like that. Can I, like, do a check? Okay, so, th yeah, they, they just, they just broke Linux then. Um... Okay, so this, is that the Toho card game? Is that one? Okay, that one's Windows. Okay, should we try, um... Let's actually try Steam Play. So, um... Let's enable that for supported titles. Um... And I'm gonna have to force, um... Find D3D because obviously, um... We don't have Vulcan. Proton, use Windy 3D. Hopefully that works. So let's just quit Steam. Let's try... Okay, so the Toho game doesn't show up, but I don't know if that means that it's not supported or just... Yeah, so that one probably needs the override, and I guess when you turn on the override is when you get all the... other stuff, so let's just try it. Um... I guess we can just try Proton 7.0 or something. Um... Which needs a restart. Also, we can try Portal 1 again because I turned off that assert and it might work.
So is that gonna work? Let's try it. Some sense of aunt ascent. You can try that. Okay, Ryan says also crashed. Um, so that's a regression. Is that why all the other games are crashing? Okay, let's try this uh, with uh, Wayne. I mean, it's Toho. It, it, it's not going to use Vulcan. <laughs> so, um... That didn't go well. Oh, it did. It didn't. It's doing something. I think it, I just saw Vulcan something. That... Oh, the GLX Mesa is not... Oh, that doesn't look right. Oh, is that why GLX wasn't working? Oh, wait, but... Um... Is... Is this, uh... Is this a fixed thing, or is this a different thing? Am I missing files in the... I do have no GLX Mesa. Pressure Vesa does not like your setup. Like a like a pressure vessel problem. Any ideas? Yeah. How do I fix that? <laughs> I just have a thread at slash x86 and that's where everything is. Planetary Annihilation? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like I have that. Try this one. Oh, that is launching. Hey, hey, Plasma Linux Japan. Wait, it has to be in in home. That's that's kind of weird. Okay, do I just move it to home? Should it work if I do that? It's not even mounted, by the way. Like it's just a, it's just a directory. So where the audio go here? It's like no BGM. Yeah. The kernel is compiled with 4K pages now. This is a 4K kernel, and it works. It looks like it works fine.
Okay. There you go. Oh, is this like a... Okay, um, how do I move? I don't know how I play this game! I'm dead! Did I just need to avoid them, or...? Oh, wait. Okay, I, I'm, I'm obviously terrible about this game, but it works! It works fine, so I think we're good with that. Um... Do I need to um, move the... thing then? Okay, let, let's try that. Let's try moving that into my home. Or at least, probably, I'm probably just bind mounted, right? Um... Oh, what, something happened. Now it's like really slow all of a sudden. Is something eating my CPU? Wait, what? What is that? That, that sounds like something I don't care about. Um... Something really bad is happening. Um... Yeah, why, why is... What's wrong with my U-Temp now? Is this something I broke in my shaman patch? I have no idea what that's about, and its trace isn't showing anything. And also, why is everything... Why is everything so slow? That's like... Good night, Luna! I might just want to reboot. <laughs> Something is like very wrong here. doesn't work because it's trying to use you tempter or something. Um that's not nice. Um I think I I think I like Yeah. Okay. Is that looping in kernel mode? Okay, 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 okay. Yes, I broke... That's a shmim thing. Whoa! <coughs> oh, and I think... I think I might know what happened there. Okay, so that's my bug. Um... 
Let me see if I can figure out what happened there. It's, a, it's that warning that is warning on, and that means that we have some pages um, that are not. Um, oh, is it just because um, the page is already there? No, that shouldn't happen though. I think it's a rounding thing again, but that also uses huge pages, so it should, um... Oh, maybe it's not a huge for everything? What's for your file page? Is that, um... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that, that should be right for bigger folios. So this is correct. Um... So what happened is that we ended up with a um, smaller thing in the X-ray. Um, so does this um, return early if it already has it? Should. Is there a first bug, um... Mm, that started everything? No, it's just there. And it is you, Tempter. It might be because I got swapped out or something.
So should replace folio should never change. Um Separate compiles. Might need to uh, compile this with debugging enabled. Ah, config debug VM. Okay, let's let's turn that on. I'll be right back while that compiles.
I'm back. And, um, yeah. Uh, it's gonna take a while because it's recompiling everything. Because that happens when you change the VMs. Um, config options. Uh, so. Yeah, wait a bit. There's probably more bugs here, though. Let's see, uh. Oh, that's wrong also. It's not alloc NR. It's alloc, um... Order. And now that's gonna slow everything down more because I'm debugging the VM stuff, but, uh, let's, let's just try it. It's not Shemem, it's Shemem. Shared memory. You can do it. So, any other ideas for games to try? Um, because if this keeps happening, I can fix the the problem by making this only apply to um, GPU shared memory stuff, which is not going to be that hard. Um, but, yeah. Any other game ideas? Okay, we got the kernel. Let's let's see if um let's see how this MM stuff is doing with the debug enabled. Run now with 4K kernel? Um, probably. See if we get anything wrong. Um, that looks right so far. So next time, um, it explodes, hopefully we'll get some more debug out of that. I think what happened is that something got swapped out and on swapping it was broken, which doesn't surprise me because I definitely didn't... What I did there with the shared memory is definitely missing parts, so... Uh, okay, let's try Steam again. Um, oh, that's not even... Okay, I lost my... Looks like I lost my history. It's in bash. That's why. Let's also open the config up because why not? Oh, I did lose the command there. I just open the SH infix. I 
looks like it. Um... And it should stick at least, um... So Proton use... Oh, we know Proton is... Oh yeah, I need to fix the x86 thing. That's what I was doing before I got there. Um, Proton use wine d 3 d And let me kill that first and fix the prefix. Do I do that? Um, I think it's just like that. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So let's see if Proton works now. Um, And give that a try. Let's see if there's anything weird here. Looks fine so far now. Um, uh, basically, all of OSX is proprietary except for the like um, core of the kernel and some of the standard library and stuff, and some some packages and things. But all the UI and all that is proprietary. Where were we? Um, I was trying to find the Toho stuff with with that. I think that. Uh, wait, actually, I'm not sure. No, that didn't work. Um, same problem. So it, it doesn't like it. Ryan, what do I do? Put on 5.0. And let's try that. And that's it faulted, which I've seen happen before. Alright, um... 
It's Shri Toho again. It's really impossible to connect any GPU to the M1 Mac. It's not well supported in a way that it's going to be easy. It might work with some hacks, but it might not work very well. So I guess it's downloading the new Proton. Yep, 5.0. Oh, then that preloader stuff is a bit scary. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. It's a physical problem. I'm not sure if... That's... It's doing something. Yeah, it's doing something. Oh, and it's 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 breaking. Oh no. Okay, let's see what we have. Um oh, okay, um a lot of stuff. Okay, so maybe add the page cache. Let's see if we can fix that. Um that's Seven one seven. Okay, so this one didn't work. Yeah. So swap in is causing that. Um. The allocation, that one should work. Um, what's the path? It went through... Swap in, yeah. I just want to turn off the swapping. Let's find my get folio. But I'm kinda tempted to just disable this for anything that isn't gem.
Yeah, so it co it got called from get forty GP, which came in from swap in folio, and that happens with the fire map. Um. Stop cash get folio. Especially meme swapping, um... Swap cluster read ahead. I might just turn it off with, uh... And just only use it for the GPU, though. I get a feeling the swap code just works with pages and not folios. Um... So it probably doesn't work. Okay, let's just make this actually, um, variable. So we need a way of figuring out, um... There's the thing with the i915 test large, um... Wait, so it's large? Oh, isn't this the problem? This might be the problem. Okay, that, that's definitely broken. Um, let's try combining that again. Oh, oh, so that's wrong. Um... Oh, that's probably also... Uh, that is... Um... Yeah, that was... That wasn't supposed to happen. Um... Wait, old. Oh wait, no, I want new there, but where's new? 
there. But if this keeps uh, breaking, I will just um, make it only use um, large folios for for the GPU stuff. Because that's going to be, I will say, for at least. I probably need to talk to the MMP boss to whether this is even a good idea to enable, but we obviously wouldn't want 16K in general, I think. Um, so... I would have to do that anyway. Okay, let's try Steam again. Uh, Fix Bash. And then ZSH. And let's actually run Steam. Uh, yeah, we got some 3D games working fine. I'm just debugging some uh, memory management issues now because of the 4K hack I edit. Um, but if it keeps crashing, I'm just going to make it only do it for the GPU. Because GPU memory can't be swapped out anyway, so... Already breaking. Yep, already breaking. 717, same as before, isn't it? Um. Yep, on swap in. Um. We want to split that here. I did disable transparent huge pages, didn't I? Um... Oh, okay, now that's bad. That's probably also gonna break. And let's turn that off. Let's turn that very off. be another full rebuild. It looks like it. Oh no. Um, 
We don't know if the GPU does not support fault recovery for paging, but that's also not really related to any of this. The firmware might support it, but macOS doesn't seem to use it yet. And we don't know how it works. But also, that doesn't really work with uh, Vulkan, so... With Vulkan, you end up swapping out, like, the entire uh, VM anyway. But I'm just... It's just, uh... It's not fast at all. It's... It's slow. Um, no, this is just an old Intel machine. It's not fast. It's just that the, uh... The, the kernel is... Like, this is a fairly small kernel. With a lot of stuff compiled out. So it builds faster than, like, a big, you know, distro kernel. It's gonna take a That unused huge shrink is kind of bothering me, uh, but it, uh, oh yeah, it's not used anymore when it turns on transparent huge pages, um. The Linux MM people are gonna, like, cry in horror at what I'm trying to do here. Um... Uh, so let's fix that up here. Um... But, yeah, no, this is definitely a uh, very, uh... Very, for like not kosher hack to the shared memory subsystem. Um, I just hope that works. Um, the the these the saving the huge page stuff. I thought THP helps that much, to be honest. THP doesn't really seem to help a lot of stuff. This is like a server with databases and, and things. Actually, do we even enable THP on like regular Asahi kernels? No, we don't enable THP on Asahi kernels. We do enable the uh, huge TLBFS. But not transparent. I just checked on my uh, streaming machine that is running a uh, release kernel. So I don't know 
know I had DHP in this kernel. That doesn't make any sense. That probably slowed things down. Come on! Four rebuilds take forever on this old intel. Okay, almost done. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if, uh, if the saving th uh, THPs fixed anything. Let's go! Wake up, what? Am I asleep? Is this gonna work? Um, nope, we are already breaking. Well, that's fast. Now it looks like we're like totally breaking the VM. Wait, THP number of pages. Why is that even getting... I turned THP off. Why is that even doing that?
was calling that from Mlock Pagevac. Looks like we're getting like a page in the middle somewhere and it doesn't like that. For Mlock, is this part of uh is that the GPU uh path though? I think I'm just making things worse now. <laughs> Now I need to figure out why... So that should already be bugging there on page remove our map. But it didn't, so... I think I probably just want to make this only happen for the GPU because there's probably going to be a million corner cases here that I can't handle right now. Um, yeah, because this is going to like try to unmap, possibly say, part of a shmim file. that okay um let's um let's figure out how we want to do that so shmim options how does how is that configured um that's the mount options that's not what we want though we want something for the creations and for the flags um so the gem stuff
Yeah, so we can probably use that mapping thing. Um... So this is gonna cheat here. Um... structure declared can i put stuff in there is it important is it not um that's an fs um Yeah, I think I can put something here. Um... I just put an order in there. Um... I imagine that gets initialized. zero properly so we can probably just set that um i get the feeling that's also gonna cause another full rebuild so let's do that while we fix the rest of the code Then we can drop all this stuff. Okay, uh, we can probably just get that from the mapping. Um... So then Alec and R should be replaced with um and our mapping. And how do I get mapping from there? I need it like that. Um
Shimmer Base NR, and then Adox Size is used just there. And I also need the mapping there. Um, Okay, this probably doesn't matter anyway. It's just that, so I don't care about that. Um, and then we can drop this. Looks like it compiles. And um, let's add that as another fix up. Oh, there's like junk in that file. Um, it's like trading spaces that my editor cleaned up. Um, all right, let's see if that's any better. Um, waiting for the compile I don't need that. Come on! Is it almost done? I think it's getting close. You can't run 32-bit apps with Box 64! Silicon, there's no 32 bits apart. It's never gonna work. Yeah, but then there's a lot of games that you use on th that are 32 bits, so.
Because Box 36 doesn't work on Apple Silicon. Apple Silicon does not support 32-bit. And Box 36 only does 32 and 32-bit emulation. Fix is 32 and 64. That's why Fix works. That's why I keep saying that we need to use Fix if we want to play games. I history scrapped it because I do like, um, like a hard shutdowns. Um. Alright, um, at least we're not crashing immediately right now, and I think the GP works. Yeah, GP works. Okay, so that, that hack worked. So let's try that again! Yes, Box 64 works with 64 games. We both tried that. Let's see if, uh, if this works better. So again, I was trying to run the Toho game with um, with Proton. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes now. So let's try that. Please work. It's doing something. Okay, we got we got a nice uh moji bucket there. Hey! Okay, this if needs a language override. Are we doing? Oh oh no. Oh no. Something's broken again. Pipewire MFT. Wait, is this possible? This is actually just a Linux bug that is um, showing up with VM debugging because there is no reason for Pipewire. This might just be a Linux bug. There is no reason for a pipewire MFT to uh, have anything to do with my patch now, unless I messed up. Let me uh, double check, but I don't think so. Um, and that wouldn't come from the GPU or anything, so um, let me do a quick check. Just audit the patch to make sure it makes sense. So, um, That doesn't matter, that only affects DRM Jam. Um, that's the 4K hack. That's all the 4K stuff. So I got it order there, uh, that's the menu stuff. Um, Okay, block size, page size there is not supposed to be there, um, but I don't think that matters. Maybe that if dev needs to be, okay, that, that might be it. Um,
could be it, but I'm not so sure. Um, everything else, um, that's just a warn. We have the mapping order there. Again, checking the base number. That looks fine. And ours in our pages, folio P. Folio, um, and that's just the conversion to folios. I think that should be fine. Um, Open Jet 3.1 is probably going to work. But that might be a. Uh, it could, it could actually just be a, wait, why is it combining everything again? I didn't... I didn't touch anything. It's not super slow. I think it's mostly going to the C cache. Thank you for your amazing work. Thank you so much. But I'm just kind of wondering if that debugging is uh, is catching an unrelated bug in Linux, which could totally be the case. Um. I have to try that later. But if that doesn't, um, if it still happens, I think I'm just going to turn off the debug or come on to out that particular check or something. Okay, let's see if uh, that works any better. What was the hardest bug to find so far? You mean today or like since I started? Okay, is it gonna work now? Since early days, um, the hardest bug to find was the um, TLB flushing thing where doing it inside the hypervisor didn't work. I spent like three days on that, I think.
Okay, is it gonna work now? Steam is so slow. Nope, we are still hitting that. It's still pipe wire. I I think that's a bug. It's a mem FD, it's not even a shemem. It's shemem aops, but um I, I get a feeling that's just a kernel bug. It does have it does have order too. But I mean there's no reason why Pipewire would end up with uh with a GPU page. So um Unless it has to do with like the audio system getting ordered two pages from the IO MMU and then that breaking it? It could be that. It could be that the 4K patch is, is causing that um, unrelated to the Shemem thing I did. I just don't see how pipe wire would end up with a MMFD. That is being affected by what I did here. Should I just turn off debugging? need pipe wire to make things work um and this is that address space um But I don't think, I mean, I assume that it's initialized as empty.
allocates the mapping objects. Here's the mapping areas, but I think, um... I mean, normally it's not this bad, it's just that, um, messing with the VM stuff is causing rebuilds. Oh, there's one space is swap state. Um, okay, yeah, that, that does do um, zero, so it should be. Busy road. Okay, um, the problem is that I can't test, um, order zero without breaking the GPU stuff, um... Mm, Portal 2 was working until the sec fault. We already did that. That was, like, the first thing we tried. It got past, like, the first, um... Test chamber and then it crashed and we need to debug that. Uh okay, I'm just gonna have to disable the um the debug stuff I think. Because I I'm not sure if this makes any sense. It's always that bug, and it's always on, um, removing the R map, which comes from, um, M unmap. Let me do a quick look at the, um, implementation of this again, just in case, um, but...
it's a, it does um split stuff but that's not related um Just failing on the M unlock, which, um... I'm on that page. Um... No, that's not it. What called path are we in? On that page, range page, remove our map. I'm on that page. page uh vma page So if it's compound or it's not a trans compound, it does um, um, unlock. Yeah, so that's just checking for compound, and uh, then, so if it's compound is set or um, it's not, then it doesn't end unlock. So in this case, it looks like we are in unlocking, and we have the compound of flag, but... And that's getting called from, um... On map page range.
probably that one. Uh... But that's just the charging part, so, um... It's probably fine, um... I think it's just this... I'm um, unlock... Doesn't look right, um... But then it only, um... It only does the unlock page if it's compound or not trans compound, but it would, uh... This one, this one would be compound, um... And if that calls, um, unlock page back. I don't know through what code path. Okay, so here's a unlock page. Which calls unlock page back. If it's ahead, um...
I can't understand what this is doing. I don't understand what this is doing. That just adds it to a vector, um, which is some global thing, but Okay, maybe this is just cleaning up a page back. Um, okay, so this is cleaning up previous things that have, have been put there, which is not great, I guess. Um, So I'm on lock page calls THP number of pages. Um Shouldn't that just be, um, compound number at that point? Okay, I'm just going to do this for now and see what happens because I don't know if that makes any sense.
but th that's probably on a tail. That's not necessarily what we want. Um, if it's compound. I probably want to either you uh, catch the sable. Um... I'm going to turn that off. Okay, uh, I'm not sure I want to turn that on, but... So page compound is true when we have 
head or compound head. So that's true for um, all pages in the folio. This is happening on the page fix stuff, so, um... It makes sense that the um, pipe wire stuff is unlocked, and again, that shouldn't have anything to do with uh, with the GPU stuff. So, question is, why is that um, ending up allocated as order two? Is it because it comes from the um, audio stuff? Okay, I have no idea what that's doing, but I'm just gonna do that change, um, which is gonna at least avoid the bug there, and see what happens. It's not the inverse of the huge pages feature. It is basically the huge pages feature when you use 4K pages. The problem is we also need 16K pages, so it's like smaller huge pages, kind of, but they're mapped, um separately anyway so i yeah honestly i don't know what i'm doing with this vm stuff um yeah let's just try that again and see what happens because I get the feeling that that is not a problem with my GPU thing. It's either caused by the um, IOMMU hack or um, 
Or it's actually a kernel bug. Let's try that again. Let's see what happens. Um, Running Proton. Not still very broken. Um, now what? Now I'm in luck. Still pipe wire. on like all audio stuff let me just um just try playing any audio with pipe wire because it could be that it's just broken like all of pipe wire um Front, left. No, that's Front, fine. Left. No, oh, it is. No, it is. Okay. It's on exit. Yeah. It's when it unlocks. So, pipe wire is just completely broken. And there's no way that has anything to do with the GPU. Which I can confirm by, um... Not doing this. Actually, let me just put a 16k page kernel. Oh wait, no, I don't have a debug one on that. Um Yeah, no, I, I don't think this is me. So first let's disable the GPU stuff that's gonna cause um, the GPU to not work. But we can still try pipe wire. Is it from a, a YouTuber? I didn't know that. Front, left. Uh. Okay, that worked. Um. So, how is that possible then? That the GPU is affecting pipe wire? That doesn't make any sense. I shouldn't be touching gem objects. What's going on? Um, is it that the pages are getting put into some kind of cache, and because they are huge, like um, folios with more than one page, that breaks everything?
Unless the mapping object is getting reused um somehow. Um, I am wondering about that mapping object. Um, just to make sure it's not a fluke, let me just try again. Um... it's getting reused or something and because they're like another new cache of objects or is it not getting initialized somewhere let's trace to the uh, mm code again Maybe it is in an inode cache somewhere. It's eye mapping. Um, Okay, maybe maybe it is just that. Um So new I know does what? Note SB um
Okay, can you cash? I lock LRU. Maybe that isn't free. Uh, like zero. Maybe that's the problem. So, um... probably the problem. Okay, so that does, um, Mem said the I note on the init once. Where's the uh, mapping from? Okay, I think I, yeah, I, it's getting reused. So this is the issue. How, how do I make it not do that? Mapping comes from I node I mapping. I node is just the struct I node. Okay, so there's... I think I think that's the issue. Address space in it once. Address space... Where does that come from? My mapping comes from... Okay, that's just part of the I note. Okay, that explains that. Okay, that might fix it now. was interesting um yeah i guess because this code is all super optimized right um for performance so that's why it doesn't clear all the fields or anything oh yeah i also need to do that um Let's see, let's see how, how this goes now. Um, let's try actually turn on the mappings. Is it gonna work? Can I break the hook?
Can we play Doha? Let's try speaker right, test first. Left. Okay, I think that's not broken anymore. Okay, that's not broken. Uh. Ah. Let's get ready. Is it gonna work? Python permission denied thing? What thing? Oh, that? No, no, don't worry about that. That's just, um, the the shell is not enabled right now. This is for when you have a serial port. Just ignore that. That doesn't matter. Okay, is it gonna work? And then we're going to try Portal 1, which might work with the Mesa hack. And then we're going to try Portal 2, just in case this fixed any of the sec faults. I don't know if it did, but we'll try it. If this works. No audio though, but oh wait, audio is bad. Okay, audio is very messed up, but I'm not sure if that's my fault. I I don't know. Um. This looks like it's probably not my fault. Let's see, if it, if the actual game um runs at the right speed, then I don't think that's my fault. Um, actually, I don't know if Ryan, yeah, Ryan's still here. Um, do you think this might be related to that Steam uh QR code code login thing? Like maybe there is a a timer problem somewhere. By the way, the arm counter here probably has a different frequency from the one you're used to. Like, I think you, you mentioned 1 gigahertz somewhere. It's 24 megahertz on uh, ARM64. So I wonder if that kind of stuff could be related. Sorry, 24 megahertz on Apple Silicon. But it works! Okay, it's... Uh, this is demo play, okay. But yeah, I would say there is a timing issue somewhere. Unless it's like actually, whoa, two hundred forty-four. Okay, now maybe it's a CPU bound. Oh, is it possible that this is using the FPU? Hold on, there's a hack for that, right? The reduced precision thing. Because if this is doing thirty-two bit FPU, that's um, that's gonna be really bad. Because it probably computes audio in floats, and if it's using 80-bit floats for that, I could see that going very, very, very wrong. Uh, so let's turn that on, hack on, because I don't think any game ever is going to care about x 7 reduced precision, except maybe, like, 3D space pinball. <laughs> uh, that applies immediately, right? No, I'm on the 
about some of the other games that were really slow, whether they might have the same issue. Like Terraria? I don't know if that's 32-bit or 64-bit. Hey, Doctor, see you later! Hey, that's much better! That was the problem. Oh, and by the way... This is one thing Rosetta can't do. Rosetta always does 80-bit emulation, so Rosetta would be useless for running this. That's one of the problems Rosetta has that, um... Like, Fix can do much, um, cleverer things than Rosetta because it's not... Like, it's designed to actually optimize. Rosetta doesn't optimize, it just does a really good job by default. Um, so the designs are very different, and that's why... Uh, like, people are saying, use Rosetta. Rosetta isn't the be-all and end-all. This is better than Rosetta. Interesting. Okay, that was just a little... Hey, there we go. And pay attention, I'm already dying. Um, I, my, in my excuse, there is lag because of my capture card. And also, I prefer to break the hole with a controller. Um, do we have auto collect here? It looks like we don't. I haven't, I haven't actually never played this one. Um, I don't know any of the patterns. Uh, yeah, where's the focus key? Hold on, I don't even know where. Okay, this is just the. Yeah, um. I never said it was good at the hole, by the way. Um. Okay, I guess I can if I go far away enough. Okay, good. Um, the second is actually gonna get. All right, this is looking good. We can play the hole. Ah, that was dumb. All right, uh, I I I was really bad at that. I I blame the leg. But it works! We can play Toho! Cool! Alright, uh... Let's go back to some of the games that were having issues before and see if we get any luck here now. Um, so... Portal 1, I think, will work. Um, maybe glitchy, but... Uh, I think I commented out the Mesa issue we had. Yes, Toho Yumeta! Thank you for coming! Let's try... Let's see if Portal works. Rosetta 2 is not open source, but there is the next version. Um, but you have to hack it to use it outside of a VM. Did I think I would get this far when I started working on the GPU driver? Uh, well, that was the kind of the goal, right? So, yeah, I just didn't know how long it would take. Um, but it was faster than I expected, to be honest. Um. So... Nothing failing so far. I think this just takes a while to load. That was good that I realized the X87 thing for Toho was causing the performance. Okay. New game. Looks like it probably works. Um, can I load? Do I have a game save? I don't think so. It's also quite slow. Probably has the same issue as, um... Portal 2 with uh, being CPU bound. We I mean, could try to see us go, yeah. I mean, it's probably gonna work. It's definitely a lot faster than when I was using a uh, software rendering. That's not that bad. Okay, it's a bit bad. Oh, it has like motion blur and stuff. Or it did a second. For a second, um, is it CPU bound? I think it's CPU bound. I also, this was the debug Mesa, was it? Hold on, let me make sure I have the release Mesa. Uh, this should have DL thread. I'm pretty sure I put that on. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it has to your thread. I think Steam died, but it does that. Um, let me make sure I have the... Well, I can turn off the uh, MM debug now. That's working, so that's going to be another long kernel build. Um, but I'm actually going to make another... Um, I'm going to make another um, build directory for the kernel and we're going to build it without the um, MM debug stuff uh, because that's probably going to slow everything down. But while that runs, we can still try more games. So let's also fix the Mesa. Uh, we want... Um, you want to sync the sync Mesa non debug. So now it's the uh, release build of Mesa, and let's try Steam again and Portal One and see what performance we get then. Um, and there's no official way of installing on an external drive right now. You kind of have to do it by hand. It's not really recommended. Once I want M2 as the closest open source CPU driver server, what would I do? Well, by then, M3 will probably have come out, so we're still gonna have uh, more work to do. Alright, portal again, but this time, um, maybe a bit faster. Yeah, that is, that is a full rebuild, so it's gonna take a while, but that's okay. Um, you can do that in the background. No, no, like, we're, we're still at OpenGL, like, 3.1. And we still have to do Vulcan. That's gonna be a lot of work. Oh, wrong button. Let's see if it's a bit faster now, and uh, then I'll probably uh, reboot to the new kernel when that finishes compiling. Uh, let's also try Portal 2 to see if that uh, MM fix stuff had anything to do with the sec fault, which it could have. Yes, we have 4K page support! Better. I think that's better. Yeah, that, that's better. It's a bit glitchy, but it does have motion blur. I think it's just trying a bit too hard. Uh, first, let's see if I can turn off the motion blur because that's kind of overdoing it. Um, but it's probably a very CPU bound anyway. Um, because I can hear it, like. Looping and stuff. Yeah. Looks to be a boundish, and the VM stuff probably doesn't help. Hello. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. I feel like that portal opening was always sturdy, but now it's really slow with the portal there, is it? It's not CPU though. 
Hold on, let me also uh, change the that trick. Um, in case that helps. It could be CPU bound, uh, sorry, GPU bind for some reason though. Like it could be that this render, especially with the portals, is triggering some really bad edge cases. And uh... it looks like when a portal is in view, it really slows down. So that's probably uh, hitting some crazy edge case on the on the GPU driver. I get the feeling that this is just something we're gonna have to look at by uh, optimizing. Uh, Mesa, um, because that's, yeah, that's definitely triggering something really pathological when the, when the portal is in view, and then when it's not, it's, you know, okay. Yeah, it could be, uh, like, over-synchronizing. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after Um, I do still want to get the new kernel in, though, because the DMD bug is not going to help, the but... Incandescent particle field across the exit. Um, but, like, if this it's spilling into, like, render passes too much, will um, any that would be part of the issue. Through it. For instance, but there's the a debug flag I can use to print uh, that info. Cube. And, um, like, today I'm not focusing on optimizing, we just want to see what works and what doesn't. But, um, and clearly this works. But yeah, it's when, when the portals are in view. They definitely slows down. Especially when they're opening. So, um... Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to take a look at that. But this one looks like it's legit, um... A GPU driver issue, possibly? Let's beat at least a couple um, tests. Um, Perfect. Please and see if uh, the make sure it doesn't crash and stuff. A prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. But it looks like it's working. Um, so portal one is uh, probably needs optimization, but works. Pretty much works. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. I forgot if I have uh, that button set here. Uh, 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 yeah, that one. I had that for, uh, for a karaoke stream I did. We can try emulating GLaDOS later. Uh, this is gonna get a portal there, right? Doesn't it? I think it does, yeah. Oh yeah, it takes a while, right? But that doesn't open there. And I need to get something. I forgot I do this one. Oh, those all just go in there. Uh, where's the... Oh, right, I had to jump on that one, right? Or something? I forgot how this one works. Oh, I had to, I had to get the gun. Okay, never mind. Um... With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device. Yeah, pretty good for the driver. I wasn't running X six games uh, so far. The device. Do not Did this require me to change this too? Uh, no. Um, just some compile fixes for 32-bit. Even partially. Uh, but it was and, and also didn't require any changes to the actual um. Oh. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. 
Um, it, it didn't require any kernel driver changes either, other than some alignment stuff. Um, it was mostly the shared memory hack I added to the kernel. It looks like it works. This is the 7 core M1, now it's the 8 core M1, I think. Um, I think the 7 core was only in the, um, Mac, uh, Mac Air. Okay, this is clean. Um, I'm gonna do a rebase while I'm here. Fix that up. How's the kernel build? Oh, I may have just broken it by... Well, it did finish building anyway, so even if this builds again, I don't care. But yeah, the rebase probably... Well, C cache is at least gonna be fast now, right? Because it's the same tree. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Uh, let's... Let's go to the new kernel. Let's see if it's any faster without the, um, MMD bug stuff. There's no errors now, so that's good. Oh, something went wrong there. Oh, I think it's just I messed up the HDMI. Yeah. Uh, that didn't work. All oh, right, with interesting. Okay, sudo inside the AE thirty two bit is broken. Um, that's fine. Okay. Um, let's let it boot. Um, give me one minute. I'll be right back. Back. Why is the transition showing up as that one anyway? That's weird. It's not supposed to do that. Um, I think my... Something with my, um... Control surface stuff is confused. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Um... Anyway... Let's try... Oh, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong kernel. I want, uh... 4K faster. Try Dota? I haven't tried Dota yet. Um, we'll probably try CSGO. Um, let's try Portal 2 first and see if, uh, anything we did fix the sec fault. Um, does that actually need Vulcan? I don't think I have Factorio. Box 86 cannot run on Apple Silicon. I've said that a few times already. Okay, so let's try this again.
keep using the wrong keyboard. So that should be a little bit faster. Um, I do have TSO enabled, right? Um... Yeah, without... Oh, well, disabled is what I meant. Um... That should be fine. Um, so let's go with that. It is loading faster. Can I load anything? Uh, yeah, there is... Alright, let's see if this is any faster. Looks about the same though so far. We'll see if the portals are any better. Uh, no, it's, yeah, it's still slow. So, so yeah, portal, um, portal works. It's just, I think the portals hit some pathological case on the... On the... Um, debut render. Right, so this one has a fixed portal, so I need to go in and get the cube. Um... But yeah, the portals are pretty slow. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Alright, so, um... That works. Uh, was this one of the jumping ones? I think so, yeah. Or do we just have to get it from there? Ah, slow! I think it was- one of them was a jumping one. Um, was it? I don't know. Yeah, the cube's there. So slow! Okay, it, re it really doesn't like the portals. So, probably something pathological there in the driver. Oh, wait, what? Why am I not... Come on! Ah, oh, I messed up. Yeah, the FPS is low, but that's fine. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Require test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth. <laughs> Let's see if uh yeah, the little things also so yeah While it's it's kinda slow but center goals. The aperture science high energy bell I'm sure we can figure out something the chamber can and has cost unbelievable. You. That's easy. Must be the pride of subject hometown here. Subject hometown here. All right. Um. No, I have like an auto tune button for a song that I used once for the radio stuff. Like a filter that sounds like this. It's kind of funny. Um. Alright, so I think we, uh, we got portal working. Uh, let's just save. And try portal 2 again, see if anything... ...improves. Um, Steam loves to die when games start, and I don't know why, but... ...Steam is kinda... ...bad in general. <laughs> So, let's try, um, Portal 2. We already tried a bunch of games before, by the way, so that's all good. Um, but, um, uh, let's try more games. Let's try more games. Um, so first Portal 2. So last time I tried that at the beginning, um, it was sec faulting after the first test chamber. Um, I think...
think that might be an unrelated bug, um, but because we fixed some stuff, let's just double check that we didn't just fix it. How to profile something on the GPU? Um, so we have um, some statistics on rendering times, and also there is a Mesa debug flag that tells you how many times it does renders and spills and stuff, so basically you look at that and see if anything looks terrible. <laughs> Okay, this is loading faster than before, at least. Uh, still kind of not great on the on that little effect on the screen there. I wonder if that's also like a little pathological GPU thing. This is using Release Mesa, so it shouldn't be you know like particularly slow. But again, you know like performance issues are something we need to look at on a game by game basis and see you know what corner cases and the driver they hit, how we can optimize it, what is missing, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's, you know, we don't expect all the games to be super smooth right now. Especially complicated stuff like Portal. Um, and also older complicated stuff, which isn't super optimized. So this is actually a bit smoother sometimes than uh, one. So this crashed um, somewhere here after this test chamber, I think, last time. So let's see what happens this time. Don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. I think last time I crashed Please note here. the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any we might have fixed equipment it. that passes It's not through. crashing now. Hey! Maybe it wasn't uh, just the shmim thing missing up. That looks good. What was the other? There was another crash. There was another game that was sick faulting. How do you know if the performance issues are from fix or from the driver? Um, Relax. looking Lie at the CPU and usage. And pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which so the material... So, you can see that now it's very CPU bound, so this is probably... Inside your head. On this one at least, the fix issue. The previous one with the portals, I think the portals themselves being slow are a different thing. So right now you can see it looks like 100% CPU-ish, so... It seems likely, but it's also possible that it's a GPU issue. Um, we have to, like, basically, there's there's some Mesa debugging and profiling options we can use. And that, um... Okay, the portals are also very slow on this one. So, yeah, we gotta look at portal 1 and portal 2 as far as optimizing them, but... Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um... We... We can't expect, um... You know, to have to do that for a bunch of games. That's why the driver hasn't really been tested, uh, of course, on, you know, almost any games beyond a few uh, simple ones. So, um, of course, we, you know, we expect, <laughs> we expect problems that we can fix. We can fix them, so that's not a big deal. Next the button there. Yeah, the, the, the portals are really slow. So both Portal 1 and Portal 2 have this issue. I have to look at that. Um... But we're not crashing anymore, that's good. Yeah. So there we go, Portal okay. One and Portal Two. Because work. of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, it's slow, but you know, environment is unsupervised. We're not crashing. We're entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing. Excellent. Please take a moment to that write works. down the results of your test. Yeah. Your science reintegration associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. It's pretty good right now, right? Like in the when it's inside the elevator, like that, but not a lot of uh, stuff going on. So that works. Um, all right, other games. Things that were crashing. Let's try Terraria. Is that going to be any faster now? 
Now those 64 of this shouldn't be any faster. Alright, let's just save that. Body, Alright, let's just save that. 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 Actually, I wonder if uh, just um, changing the graphics options would make anything faster. Like, an, an ISO is a bit excessive right now. If I just do it, like, try linear. Uh, I don't know if the wait for reason is gonna hurt, help or hurt anything, but let's just turn it off. Uh, Multi-cornering is fine. The shader details, try high. Effect details, try medium. Just curious to see if it's any faster with lower graphics settings. My try game is on Proton. Uh, I just tried uh, Toho on Proton a few minutes ago. Either refuses to. Oh, so those black glitches are driver bug, probably. Um, that doesn't look like it sped up much, though. Let's see when we get the next portals. But I get the feeling that. I don't. I don't think this is. Um, yeah. I don't think this is, uh, like, GPU performance bound. Hey, I think this is, um, it. like, spills bound and stuff. Oh, okay. Hello? Uh, I forget how long it takes until we get more portals again. Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. Okay, there's a portal gun there. Still alive. Okay, that's still very slow, yeah. So, yeah, I don't think this is, like, GPU resource bound. I think it's probably either spill bound, like, um, re like, render pass bound, or, uh... Okay, this is the entrance. Um, or, you know, just CPU. Or anything, really. It could be a number of things, but that's... That's something to interesting in there. Point is, it works! Alright, I think we are good. We're gonna call that a success! We have successfully completed the chest chamber. Alright, uh, so things that weren't working before. Uh, but Team Fortress was doing weird DLX stuff. I don't know if that, uh, wait, does it DLX? I don't, I don't remember what that, that was, how that was, no, that, the, oh, I oh, know, that's just Team Being's team. But it, oh, wait. Oh, sec fault. Okay, so Team Fortress is just sec fault. Um, so that is still broken. Yes, Portal 2 is working fine. A bit slow, but yeah, works. Um, so we'll have to look at that Team Fortress to uh, sec fault. Um, we're gonna testing that. Um, ah, oh, was that one? I think it was, that one was failing with... Was it GLX or what was the issue with that one? Not that, uh, didn't work. Oh, that one's Mono. Yeah, something's wrong with that one. Um, Bitrip was just broken because the developers dropped Linux support. Um, Darwinia was... What was the issue with that one? I know the native version works fine. I think there was a GLX issue on this one. I was just getting stuck on something. I think I was just getting stuck on something. It's not doing anything right now. Yeah, Darwinia was just getting stuck, somehow. Oh, wait, no, it's doing something now. Uh, wait, what's it? Let's see what Darwinia is doing. Stuck on a few decks. Um, 
We are not breaking. What's the main process doing? Morphe tech stuff. Yeah, so it's it's somehow waiting on a few decks, and we don't know what. Um, could be a deadlock, could be something else. Okay, those are dead now. Um, so... We did the brainy works though, so that was just something with the emulation. Um... See if the works are likely driver related. Yeah, it could be. Um... I just need a way to debug it! Uh, what about Osmos? That one was... That one also just dies. I need a way to debug this, Ryan! <laughs> what was they been up doing? Oh, that was the GLX failing to create window, yeah. We need to also look at um, what's going on with that. Could be that it's trying to get um, to new and open GL version, but... Oh, Osmos is non regression, okay. Um, let's try if TFS worked very nicely when I tried it before. That looks good. Looks like it's working, yeah. Yeah, that looks like it works fine. No issues there. Not gonna spend too much time on this one, but uh, yeah, that's that's another working game. Uh, more games. It's, it's, it's just try more things from the list here. Um, I want to try more 3D stuff because that's more interesting. Euphoria, let's try that. HD or the regular one? Since all both. Did I try T-World? I don't think so. Um, do I have that? I don't think I have that. I need some VVVV works. That doesn't look like a terribly uh, complicated game. Surgeon Simulator, I wonder if we should try that. <laughs> oh, it's pretty okay. Um, could try that. Hey, Jacko, thank you so much for the super chat! Um, it doesn't matter. I mean, it works with every game. It works with some games. I mean, there's still bugs and things to fix, right? I'm also getting kind of hungry, so I probably should get some uh, some dinner soon. But let's just run through a bunch of games and see what we get. Bastion, someone said. Let's try Aquaria also. Yeah, I'm just kind of stealing Mark and Steam library. Let's get a bunch of stuff he hasn't played. They're not gifted Terraria to me, though. Half-Life 1? Uh, we can try that. 
Wait, is that, um, wait, that's not free, is it? Minecraft works! People have been using Minecraft already. I don't have it, but, I mean, it works. That's, that's not a problem. Um, is CSGO free these days? Looks like it. Um, I can give that a shot. Yeah, the, the, the um, star really, like, slows down and it's, it's hard to get... There's there's a timeout issue with, um... With the browser stuff. Head to library! Come on, let me do it! Come on! Hey, I think it worked. Why is that rainy still running? Thirty gigabytes. Well, good thing I have this on external SSD. Um, how do I add it on Steam? It's just that um, Zahirina. Um, so where? Um, let's see what what have been installed so far. So let's go from the top. Let's try Aquaria. That's looking like it's working, though. I don't know why it's on the left there. Maybe the resolution is weird. Okay, that's that's where that ended up. That does happen with some games, like the they try to go full screen and they don't support the resolution, and then you end up in a weird place. Um, hopefully, I can make it windowed or change the resolution somewhere. Interesting, so it acts as the, the, as the clears. It's like totally like the OpenGL viewport is wrong, right? I can't skip this. Oh, yes, okay. Where's the settings? Options. Resolution. Alright. Uh, 1080p, please. That's much better. Alright, new game. That looks good. Yes, I live in Japan! The verse flows throughout Aquaria. Through each ripple and wave. Through every living being. It the looks verse good. Binds us all as one. The verse binds us, narrator and explorer. My story will become your own, and yours will become mine. You will live my life through my eyes, and you will learn the truth. Okay, is it gonna work? Main game? As far back as I can remember, I came yeah, to this keep place. looking good. This cave was my sanctuary. Here, the verse was so focused that I could feel it humming in the stones around me. Have people tried emulators? Like uh, we know dolphin works. Cave and it's I haven't tried it myself, but people have. If I had stayed there, I might have found peace. But eventually, loneliness and restlessness drove me. I can show the PS counter. I don't know how to turn it on on this game. That works. So, um, yeah. Looks pretty good. Stutters a little bit sometimes, but I think that's pretty common with the emulation. Um, but yeah. Looking good. Oh, I think that's a bit... I, th I think that black bar is not normal. That sure. Oh, that might be a Steam pop-up, actually. Oh, yeah, that was just a, a notification getting glitched up. Um, I, I don't want to try the Steam overlay, because the Steam overlay is, like, always painful. So that works. We'll call that a 
success! Alright, more games from the list. I don't wanna use the steam overlay, I don't like, I don't, it's always painful. Don't make me use the steam overlay. It's like a weird preload thing and it, it always causes trouble. Um, okay, Bastion, someone said, let's try that. When can we pull this? When it's ready! Yes, I can approve you. Give me one second. Let me, let me just check that. Okay. That looks like it works. At least we got a we got a backtrace on that. Um oh okay that no that GDB backtrace I know what that is. That's that's an actual GDB bug. Um because uh Markin found that one. But um how did this fail? Oh no, I think I'm running out of backlog. Okay, so something went very wrong there. It's a low pointer exception, what happened somehow in the XNA, so... That almost looks like an unrelated bug that it ended up with some audio issue or something. And then the GDB thing failing is, is a known bug. Okay, hold on, we <laughs> can just approve some friend requests. You know, there's, there's, there's lots of places for there to be bugs in here, like, you know, in Proton, when they're using Proton, in, in FEX, in the games themselves. Um, you know, if something doesn't work, it doesn't mean it's the driver's fault. <laughs> so Bastion kind of started, but then ended up in trouble. Um, let's try Braid. Bitrip doesn't work because it doesn't work on Linux. Um, they, they, like, dropped Linux support and they just, literally, it's missing the files. Um... Yeah, mono games are a bit, um... Let's try a window on that. Actually, let's just try full screen. Because why not? Actually, let me check one thing first. Is my display set up at the right, um... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't want 64 there. That's just kind of weird. Let's say it's 60. Uh, that's a weird thing with my capture card that ends up with a 64 option. But then I am capturing at 30, so... That's the other thing is, um... Don't expect... It to be very smooth right now. I wonder... You know what? Actually, no. Uh, give me one second. Yay! I received a gift! Uh, I'm gonna uh, plug this in. Play this back. Play this back. Alright, I'll try that. Um, I'm going to um, try plugging this into my real capture card. Uh, so we can start downloading that so we can test it in a second. Um... And that way, at least you'll see it at 60 FPS when the games are actually uh, running properly. So, because right now it's running through like triple capture cards and stuff, it's really crazy. And that way, I can also play without lag because I can set up a real screen. So, give me uh, just a minute while I plug some cables in. <laughs>
second. This is so much better. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be looking at a weird angle because um, I have the screen like on the corner here. Uh, but this is uh, now, this should be smooth now. This should be for 60 FPS. Oh, oh no, oh no, some, some. Come on. Uh, maybe, maybe my cabling is a bit weird. I hope that sticks. Um, otherwise, I'll just skip the capture card. But that should be a lot nicer now. Okay, let's go back and let's play something that we know is smooth. Um. So Fez uh, was nice. Uh, let's uh, let's just see how smooth Fez is. This should be this should be getting us uh, 60 FPS now on the stream, pretty much. I think my video is a bit weird, but if the screen glitches out, that's that's just a problem with my wiring, not uh Oh it is glitching out. <laughs> One second, I might I might have to just skip that HDMI cable. Yeah, I think ah sorry. Anyway, I'm um, good enough for now. Oh no, my HDMI cable is weird. Anyway, point is, uh, this is 60 FPS. Oh no, now, now the, now the feed is, is gone. Oh no. I'm sorry, it's just, uh, HDMI cable troubles. Maybe it's better now. Anyway, um, as you can see, this is running at 60 FPS, no problem. So, I uh, just wanted to show you that. Uh, it should be a lot smoother now, yeah, because it's not using the capture card. Um, so, that's nice. Oh, more games that should be nicer here. Um, the mouse should also be a little smoother now. Your truck simulator. Uh, all right. Uh, oh no. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can fix the wiring a bit.
it, it might be a bit better now. Let's see. Sorry, I was uh, not planning on doing that, but yeah, you can see the, the mass is smooth and, you know, the this stuff is smooth as hell. My usual, um, you know, capture card is just making everything look terrible, but now it should be properly smooth. Um, this is an Avermedia capture card on the streaming side. I do, I do recommend it. It does not have pass-through, but I have a splitter in front, which is how I do that. Um, however, the capture card I use, as I've been using until now, the one that is connected to my main PC, uh, that one is a pretty terrible Chinese one, and it's not great. Um, so CSGO is still downloading. We don't know if, it, if it's going to work or not. Um, let's try Terraria so you can see what FPS that gets. And it might be a bit better now, we'll see. Uh, we don't have um, better open deal versions than macOS, but we have better support for the versions we do support. So we, we have fewer bugs than macOS, but not as much support, I think. Looks pretty good. Um, so it was a bit low FPS y before, but we'll see how it runs now. With uh, I think it's has fewer debug stuff turned on right now. Yes, yeah, okay. It is a bit low FPS, as you can kind of see. SF11, was it? F10? There, it's... Um, yeah, like 50 FPS or so. So Terraria is a bit slow, probably because of the... being CPU bound. That's not bad. You can see it. It does glitch a bit sometimes. Also doesn't have that steam as being steam here. Um... 50, 52 FPS or something is not bad. And I think it's CPU bound on this one. So that's not bad. Uh, what else do we want to try? Um, so, okay, Toho, I need to show you what I get for all FPS. Does Steam Big Picture work? I don't know. We can try it. This proton stuff does take a while to start up, but it does work. There you go. Let's see how bad I am this time. So yes, we can play Doha! Oh, what's the... I forgot what the shoot button was. I oh, there's my shoot button. Alright, let's go, let's go. I'm still really bad at playing Toho with a keyboard. I'm already used to gamepads. Oh no! And I don't know this one at all, but it does work and you can see it's smooth at 60 FPS in the corner there. No problems! I'm also bad. Um, so there you go. Um, things to try. She's got still downloading, yeah. Um, support was beginning, it was slow. It wasn't gonna, it's not gonna get any faster with this one. Um, yeah, see, me and Trucks are emulated, but the video should be native. Uh, let's try VVVVV. I like how that prints in the standard output. Oh, that's a tiny window. You 
can I like scale this? Oh, okay, I see how that works. Ah, that looks nice. Pretty, uh... That looks very 60 FPS. Quickly there. Oh, okay, I, I see how this game works. Oh, okay. I was like playing games is a lot more enjoyable when you don't have like many seconds of lag, <laughs> even though I'm bad at this. I didn't get the checkpoint. Oh, something happened there. All right, so that's working. And it's on solid 60 FPS. Working. Uh, more things. Uh, so that works. World of Ku is also very nice. Let's, let me just show you the World of Ku is actually uh, smooth here. So as you can see, that is working fine. Um, right, I need to do something with those. Those are the balloon things. And now what? Oh, okay, I need to, like, give the balloons on these, I guess? Yeah, that sounds about right. So, very smooth, no problems there, right? So that is World of Goo. Uh, next up, um, why do we have Slay the Spire? I got that gifted. Um, let's see how that runs. If it runs, DPO is not emulated. DPO is real. I mean, the DPO driver is emulated, but the GPU is real. I think that crashed. Oh yeah, another sick fault. Oh, wait, that is Java though, that's kind of... Jit, and jit, not a great idea anyway, so uh, Slide the Swire doesn't work. Uh, Savant Ascent did work. Although I didn't know how to play it. Oh, Java games are known broken on fixes, Ryan. Okay, so we can't expect Java games to work. Those don't work. Uh, but then again, you can just run Java games natively anyway, so... Um, usually, so... It doesn't make a lot of sense to uh, to write on an emulator usually.
So yeah, that's also smooth. Um, I have no idea how to play this game. But definitely no problems there. I have no idea how to play it though. So yeah, that's another one that works. Um, more things. Osmos is non broken on Fex, even off had issues. FTL works fine. Uh, Fez, as I showed earlier, works fine. Uh, you floor, yeah, let's try that. Let's try the HD one. It looks like it runs. Starting at least. That looks good. Nice and smooth. No problems. Skip that. Next asteroid, this one? Unknown. How do I do that? Send mode, okay. Um. How do I send that? Hold the left mouse. Oh, okay, like that. Just drag. How can I give you a game to test that? You can just add me at Asahelina on Steam. Please don't send, you know, like AAA games and Vulcan stuff and, you know, like super recent stuff like that. That's definitely not gonna work. Uh, but yeah, this is working. Alright, Euphoria is another, uh, the one that's good to go. Uh, do I wanna try the old one, the non-HD? Just to see, uh, see if it starts up at least. That's true. Um, I'm just looking at, you know, that nothing looks horribly wrong. Yeah, DX9 stuff should be fine. There's a first time set up, apparently. Oh no, Microsoft Visual C++. Okay, this is like running on Proton. Um, that's rather painful. And CSGO is still downloading, but getting there. If you try Skyrim, what 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 GPU does that need? Isn't that I mean I don't know. It says it's running. Um It's doing stuff. Not that crashed there, I think. On something, so that also looked like um, a Lua something. Okay, yeah, so that didn't work. Invalid program exception. Looks like I tried to open a library and it failed, so that might be a fix issue. Something with uh, Lua dynamic libraries. Oh well, we tried. Uh, let me play Braid. Uh, that was, I'm pretty sure that was fine. This is the one I was going to run before I switched the screen, I think, so... Yeah, that... Oh, I think that's just my HDMI being silly now. Yep, that's fine. That's very dark. But it looks smooth. I assume it's supposed to be dark, yeah. Yep, right, looks good. Space bar! 
It is slightly jittery sometimes. Those could be, uh... Jit, um... Stutters? Hard to say. There's a puzzle piece there. So yeah, that looks good! Oh, sorry again, that's just my HDMI being silly. And I think I just died because I can't see what I'm doing! Alright, bad braid works! I'll call that a success. Alright, um... Your <laughs> strikers are still downloading, um... Did we say Bastion worked? I forget, I think that one didn't work for some reason. Or did it? Oh, that one's starting. Oh, this ought to be one of the ones that died when I was um, experimenting with stuff. Oh, the download is pausing, okay. That's annoying. Um, let's try that. Just to show that it works. I also show portal, I think, because that way we can uh, use so this, this section one. of the stream as sort of the now, showcasing all the games part. All twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up. Hey, that looks like it works. For the bastion, where everyone agreed to go. Yeah, that all looks good. No problems there. Looking smooth. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing away. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. Nice. This is like a fun game. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. Oh, nice. Calamity. So yeah, Bastion looks like it works. That is survivor. No man. All right, uh, let me show you what's up with uh, Portal. Um, Portal One and Portal Two do work. They are just slow, um, possibly due to um, missing optimizations and um, like pathological cases in the GPU driver. But just to show you. Get a BGM when it loads. And yeah, I need to set the um, background downloads thing. Yeah, so you can see it's uh, not super fast. Um, Yeah. Or is so, of this is about the FPS you get in Portal right now, when there are no portals. Uh, when there are portals, it slows down quite a bit. Um, as you can see now. Um, actually, there's no portals hey, yet, but it's you made it. a bit messy. There should be a, a portal device. Yeah, so it's fall now. So yeah, as you can see, it doesn't perform super uh, well yet. Um, Hello? but we'll work on it. Can you see the portal? And see, it's going to get much slower when I get the, the portal open. Yeah, so the portal's really slow it down. We'll have to look at that, but, you know, it runs. So, that's a good start. So that's how portal runs, and portal 1 is about the same. Um, so, there you go. Uh, more things that we want to do. Uh, Team Fortress 2 does not work. Um, a query we did try earlier. Let's give it a shot. With the right monitors and stuff. I hope that's not going to make me do the intro again. Um, continue. Oh no, I didn't save. I hope 
I can skip the cutscenes. I think there's a VAC protected games fee here. I don't know. You have to ask Brian about that. Through each ripple and wave. Through every. You can't skip that, okay? As far back as I can remember. There you go. So it's nice and nice and smooth, right? No problems there. I'm gonna have to sort out another 60 FPS capture card just uh, for all the game development stuff because it really is worth uh, showing the full FPS now. So I have to figure something out to make this a bit more ergonomic, I guess. But yeah, there you go. It works. No problems there. Um, more things to try. Uh, I think this is another one uh, that someone sent me. Oh no, this is uh, um, from the library. Let's see what happens there. I need to set this to down there in the background. Uh, some of these are Proton games. Toho was a Proton game. Um, I don't know if any of the others were. At least some of them were, because I saw Mona going on with some weird stuff. Yeah, the one that installed VC Redist, um, that was Euphoria Non-HD, I think. Um, but that one failed due to a Lua issue. I'm not sure if this is... Yeah, it looks like it's working. Uh, that doesn't look right. That looks like a GPU driver bug. Okay, that looks like we actually have a problem. Oh, yeah, okay, so it's not rendering. Whoops. Well, uh, that was interesting. That, I'll have to look at that one. I'm pretty sure... Um, let's see, did it fault? Uh, no, it didn't fault. So, uh, that's... That one is a GPU driver bug. That is interesting. We'll have to look at that. Um, so... That's good, we're finding issues! And that one is probably pretty easy to fix. Because it's not even a performance issue, there's probably something really obvious. Um, or it might just be a missing feature, actually. It might be that it's trying to use, like, um, geometry shaders or something we don't support yet. Because um, I'm not using a debug Mesa right now. Hey, CSGO finished downloading. Let's see if the CSGO works. Uh, yeah, now that, that one looks like really like a GPU driver bug there, or just missing uh, support for something, so... Uh, CSGO doesn't look like it works. It crashed? Well, if you have to connect to Steam, because Steam crashed, because Steam likes to do that. Um, so it might be that we have an issue there, but... I don't know why Steam likes to crash so much. Oh, video in the intro? Um... I got a gift, apparently. Hold on, let me... Let me receive some gifts. Accept gift. A lot of friends invites. Ah! Uh, I don't know how many games I'm gonna be able to try today, but we'll give it a shot. Back to the library, and let's try... Uh, what, um... Let's see, let's go hack, and that was mentioned, so... See if that's any better, um... Do I really need to delete the files? Isn't this hopefully enough? It's safe, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, Steam just likes to crash like that. And I think Steam then crashes because Steam, uh, because, sorry, uh, CSGO crashes because Steam crashes, so, um, yeah. Um, I don't know. Steam is just very crashy. I know, we have Android Fallout, um... So let's see what other things we got, um... I also don't want to miss any gifts from... Oh, are you invites? I don't want to miss any, uh, any gifts from people, um... I'll accept your invites and, um... Library, and let's see what... Recent games... Topic two, and um, we'll, we'll try that. Oh, there's insecure, yeah. You can try that, but I think I was just crashing on the Steam stuff, so. Um, how do I enable background downloads? Because I also want that. Um, it should be in here somewhere. that that should do it uh all right more recent games all games 26 um anything here I missed euphoria slay the spire we tried world of Google. all that yeah um let's see if csgo works uh, with insect well i don't want to crash Steam right now until that finishes downloading. Oh, did I remove that open deal? Yes, yeah, then so then it won't work. Uh, well, let's see what happens even if it crashes. Um, but I don't think Insecure is going to help there. Nope, it just crashes. I think I want to use the Steam API and then it fails because Steam is crashing, so... Um, oh well. I could force Proton, yeah, but I I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'll have to figure out what's up with those egg faults at some point. Alright, let's try the, the one that I just installed. Steam is crashing, and it's crashing right after the Steam, um, uh, failed to uh, use the API, so I, I think it's just, uh, the problem is Steam is crashing. And I need to figure out what's up with that. Um, hello, invites. Are you gonna work? The whole web stuff is just so slow. No, Vulcan's not gonna work. Um, all right, let's try Gothic 2, which is uh, did finish downloading. Oh no, it has to install stuff. I'm scared. It's DirectX. Why does it mean? Oh no, this this doesn't sound like it's gonna go very well. No, we we don't have Vulcan. We can't run Vulcan games. Come on, this is an OpenGL driver. Like think of this as like a GPU from like you know more than ten years ago, right now with the driver that we have right now. Like the performance is not going to be bad, um, you know, for things that aren't pathological, but the the features, right? It's like OpenGL um, 2.1, 100%, and then 3.1 or so most of the way. So I am faking the the OpenGL version right now so we can try, you know, the new features, because a lot of games don't care about that. Um, 
Oh no, it's still installing that DirectX. That, that just looks... I don't even know if that's working. I don't even know if that's working. At least, at least this works. Oh, I just got something. Oh, more invites on now. If you're gonna add me, send me games. I have no idea if that DirectX install is actually working. It looks like it's doing some preloader stuff. That's why, so I think it's doing something. It's very slow. Alright, more things. Um, can I get a list of like what has been gifted to me and make sure I don't forget anything? So I know I had a couple of things, and I'm wondering. Oh, something. Oh, another gift. Yeah, it looks like it's like super slow um, running the installer. Except gift. Can I get... Yeah, download. Oh, another gift. That DirectX installed. Oh, they even sent me a bunch of gifts. Um... Where do I get the... list of gifts and stuff? Because I just got more gifts, I think, than I didn't... The here? Oh, here, okay, that's where the gifts show up. Let's go to the invite first. Hey, it's an edX. I'm good, I'm trying random games now. A bunch of stuff works, some stuff doesn't work, but, you know, not doing bad. to well we'll see we'll see how those go um because part i mean they should work around as well as portal does hopefully but um we'll see what the performance is like at least i'm not portal so because that was particularly slow um all right let's recent games so i did not show up in recent games more gifts oh no and this is still running the silly setup there this is running some stuff on Proton. Yeah, we tried Troho earlier. That one works on uh, Proton. Come on! This game is so slow with everything. I, I have no idea how long this DirectX install is going to take. It looks like it's going to take a long time. Uh, Fallout, you fake. <laughs> That's alright. Um, we'll give it a shot. Yeah, I'm gonna have more games than Marken at this rate. Oh, okay, it's doing it, it got past DirectX. Now it's VC redistributable, so we're not doing that bad. Uh where did Half-Life go? Where did um Can I see like the list of gifts or something? Okay, we do it like that. Half Life and Half Life Two. Converting existing game installation. I oh, that's pretty because there's some thing using the Half Life Two engine already. Another gift? Oh no! Come on, Microsoft PC for distributable get heavy, heavy bullets. I have no idea what that is. Um. Yeah, 
the Chromium stuff is really slow on Steam. Is F5 to actually installing here? I don't know what that's doing. It looks like it's a bit, um... It's doing something. Oh no, another game! It's still installing redistributable something there. Give me games faster than I can try them, because this one's taking forever to install. Uh, fault handler? Um... No, it looks like it's doing something. I saw it, like, reset that. It's doing something. Uh, 13186. Oh, that might be a fault handler. Yeah, it is spinning on that. Do I just need to kill that? Looks like it did something. Another VC retest. Um, 13577. That's also dying. Um, well, I'll just kill them and see what happens. I think that didn't work. It's still doing something. Still says running. It's yeah, it's doing stuff. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, all right, we can play the game apparently. Um, hey, birthday gifts, yeah. All right, it says loading. That's running on Proton, so. Gifts. That's trying. Why is it opening the sequencer of all things? Okay, it's something. Um, no graphics though. Might need to figure out how to get this windowed. That doesn't look like it's working. Um, I wonder if I can get it windowed somehow. No, I think it's... I think it's broken. Oh well, it's worth a try. Uh, actually, wait. Was it the, just the intros at that point? Um, what is this doing? Half-Life 2 conversion. It's doing... Wait, Proton is running now. Wait, VC this is still running. Um, die, die, die. I think something worked. Um, let me try the classic thing. Please wait, loading. Um, okay, so some videos there didn't work. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Maybe it was just the videos. Maybe it's just like a codec thing. I'm 
not sure if that's working. Single prisoner. Ah, uh, maybe videos don't work. Oh, that crashed. Oh well. That's worth a shot. Okay, half five two. What are you doing? Yeah, it looks like something. Yeah, it's like faulted. Oh well. We tried. Launcher, you can go away now. Alright, ah, hold on. So many new invites. Uh, library, hold on, stuff I just got! Um, group by library? Yeah, this stuff, okay, um... Come on, Seth! <coughs> uh, did, is this the one that they want me to try it earlier? Loader, no such fire. Okay, yeah, that, um, that looks like it didn't work. Wait, no, it is running. Why is Steam Web Helper running there? Okay, yeah. Oh, is that on Unreal Engine? Oh, okay. It's, it's loading. It's doing something, yeah. Hey! That wasn't super smooth, but... Oh, did it, did it just die? Is it just... I think it died. Yeah, I think it died. Oh, well, we got the intro at least. Unless I, like, hitting escape killed it. Because I was hitting escape to try to get through the intro. Uh, let's just try it one more time. I should add, like, a favorites list of all the games that work. <laughs> Another gift! Oh no, so many gifts! Hey, hold on, let me, let me sort this with this stuff. Um, so first let me mark the ones that actually do work. I'm gonna call them favorites. Um, did Bastion work? No, now I forget which ones worked and which ones didn't. Uh, I think Bastion worked, yeah. Uh, Braid worked. Euphoria HD worked. Fez worked. Faster than Night worked. Even Up did not work. Uh, Portal and Portal 2 worked, though, slowly. Uh, Savant uh, worked, I think. Yeah, that's that one. Uh, Tiny and Big, did that one work? No, I think that one was weird. Zoho works. VVV works. And, um, World of Goo works. And about the new ones, um, so... Let me try that one again, just in case. Alright, Tiny and Big had the driver back, yeah. I think this time I just died before even launching the game. Yeah, no, that, that one doesn't seem to work. Alright, let's go and... Uh... And see what else works. More invites. Come on. 
right, library. Um, so... Fallout, not New Vegas. It's at least to the download list. Wait, is that already downloaded? Um, Gothic, um, did not work. Half-Life, uh, let's see what happens with Half-Life. Wait, where, where's Half-Life 2? Oh, it's just probably not downloaded. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the one's amazing, so... Lockland. Should be easy. So last thing. One gigabyte. Okay, that's... That's a pretty big game. Um, Half-Life 2. Let's get Half-Life 2 installed. And Heavy Bullets, which is another one that I got just now. Just queue everything for download. Short Truck Simulator. Um... I, I don't think the Elder Scrolls is gonna... I don't know, actually. What, how old is the Elder Scrolls Morrowind? Might work. I have no idea. I, I have a very, um... Bad idea of, like, how old games are or how... Demanding they are and all that. Uh, Box does not require 4K pages, um, but also doesn't fully emulate them, I think. Um, but it doesn't run 32-bit games, so... Uh, so basically, Box uh, is not useful for Steam because you need a uh, way to run 32-bit games for that. Is this working? Oh, it's doing the conversion stuff again, okay. I think we need to wait. Your truck simulator is big. Um, I'm gonna pause that and we can let it run later. Box 86 cannot run 30, uh, like 32 bit apps on 64 bit operating systems. And Apple Silicon cannot run 32 bit apps, so it doesn't work. If you want me to try a game, you gotta gift it to me. Um, which one are we downloading now? This just download cute for everything. Wait, did it pause everything? I think it paused everything somehow. Locked on this tiny. That should finish soon. So this is doing something now. It looks like it's trying to run some wine stuff still. Are we still running a game? Um. Or is it just installation stuff? Come on! Leo's fortune. Alright, let me, let me, uh... So let's stay down running now. Let me catch up, let me catch up. Um Okay, let's try Blockland. Thirty two bit game should work. external drive so I have some space. It's also probably a bit slower but you know it'll be fine. Come on Blockland what are you doing? You're paying to run. It's probably waiting for like this conversion or something. I don't know Steam works why are you taking forever? 
cancel that. And get the invites for while I am here. Yes, it's on the driver! Oh, that's, that's a new one. Steam, what are you doing? And the refresh button doesn't work. What are you doing? Why? Oh, is this another VC redist? Oh, it's another VC redist, isn't it? Uh... We have like a ton of VC resist instances just dying. Uh, no, that one's not dying. Um, that one's fine. That one's dying. Okay, that was that. Okay, so block... Oh, Steam dying again. Yeah, this is just... Uh, it's try okay, it's running the game. It's starting the game, I think. I don't know why Steam randomly crashes when you start some games. Anyway, it's, it's doing something now, so... Alright, Blockland! Here we go! Woo! It's a trainer connection! Alright, um... I have no idea what this is about, but we're gonna just uh, try a random thing. Uh, single player. Loading music. All right, that looks good, and it's um, everyone is that no one wins. What? Is that supposed to happen? Um, yeah, looks like I, looks like it works. I, I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. Um, is that like a password or something? Oh, you just pick like a card. Um, I don't know how you go inside. I don't know how to play this game, but it does look like it works, right? How do I? I I think I just died. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's like a very weird Minecraft-ish thing. So I guess you have to pick a card. Anyway, it looks like it works. Um, well, we'll call it working. It's a very weird game. Um, hello. Shut down. Shut down. Oh, is Steam actually starting now? Oh, it is? Okay. Fine. Oh, did I mess up the YouTube uh, date? Somehow I might have messed it up. That would be very, uh... Very me. The schedule is correct, so it should have been right. It might just be that, uh, YouTube's being silly. 
All right, uh, library. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Our stuff. Uh, Celeste. Stay wait until half of two downloads because it's actually downloading now. Can you double jump? I don't know. Can I? Yeah, let's try playing that. Surprising the same cloud. Hey, that looks good. Very smooth. Okay, that's the button. Climb. Oh, that looked nice. Oh, no, I can't. Um, alright. Oh, that that's not good start. Um How do I get there? Oh, I just have to go through? Okay. Climb holds it, okay? More. Oh no! That, 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 all right, that was uh. Oh no! Wait, how do I even? Upright X. I see. Oh, all right, I see. Okay, that's a cute. That's a cute like teaching mechanic. I should do a Celeste stream. I should do an actual game stream. That's not gonna be today, but... Alright, so that was the prologue. Um, We'll leave a proper Celeste run for another day, but that looks like it works. So, there we go. Oh, cool. Um, children we said didn't work. I think... Because I was Unreal Engine, CSGO doesn't work. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic needs uh, downloading. Morrowind uh, needs downloading. Uh, 
Um, so let's try Half Life. See if we get lucky with that. That did not work. It looks like it's just Steam crashing again and then the Steam API crashing, so same problem as CSGO. I have no idea why Steam crashes like that. I have to look at that. I think all those um, Source Engine games just crash if Steam crashes. And Steam is crashing for some reason, so... I am making a list. Um, I'm favoring everything that works. I need to add a uh, list to that. More friends. I think I have to do a um, proper video of this. For the games that work. Alright, let's try F5-2. See if we get lucky. I think we have the same problem. Oh, it's starting though. Hey. <coughs> we might have F5-2. Let's see if it runs any better than Portal. Half-Life 2 is a source engine. Half-Life is uh, the source code engine, isn't it? So that would kind of make sense. Come on. There we go. New game! Start a new game. Yeah, so this is very Portal 1, right? Um. Yeah, I think so. Looks like it might work. Let's see how fast it runs. Rise and shine. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Freeman, that is actually pretty smooth. Shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest. And all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake it is a bit um, dropping a piece, depending on how the on what it's like blending together. I think. Okay, that is, yeah, so, I think it's gonna be like Portal 2 and Portal 1, it's gonna be, yeah, basically pretty slow. So, we need to look at what the source engine is doing and why it's so slow, whether it's CPU bound or uh, just um, some pathological stuff in the driver, but, you know, it works, so. Probably wouldn't want to play it in its current state, but, hey. I bet it's just something pathological in the driver. Like it's just flushing like crazy or something like that. Well, well, we'll look at it some other stream. We'll have some optimization streams and figure out uh, what's going on there. Welcome. But Welcome it runs. City 17. So, half five works. Half five two? Um. Come on, Steam. Um, saturation could be because of the capture card. I think the capture card is, um, like, o over saturating things, yeah, so don't worry too much about that. Remember, this is all running on our Mesa driver that, um, Alyssa and I have been working on, and on my Rust, um, kernel side driver. And it works! Alright, more invites, uh, I wonder if I'm gonna catch up with all the games! My deadline is three hours from now, so 
but I haven't had any dinner yet, so I'm pretty sure to not uh, be uh, not spend all day. All right, um, Half Life um works. Um, Half Life Two. We'll add that to favorites. Make sure Celeste is on favorites, and Blockland also works. Uh, Table Read did not work. Counter Strike Go did not work. Um, well, you know, two session we know works. Um, Terraria we know works. Why is that not in favorites? Uh, Team Fortress 2 does not work. Alright, what next? Um, let's try Morrowind? in portal 2 also right so i think we have some bug in the driver there that probably affects also source um stuff also Alyssa is around apparently um looks like marwin didn't run It's hard for me to type on IRC right now, because, uh... Because my keyboard is, like, in the middle of other stuff. It's doing something, though. I'm not sure what's going on. I think that's no, just the update. Uh, so it looks like Morrowind doesn't work. Um, did it say anything about how it crashed? It might work. This is an IRC and I can't type to her properly, so I'm gonna like try typing on oh that's a tiny window. Um Nice. Looks like it might even work! Uh, yeah, yeah, Wine 3 d works! That's, uh, that's what I'm enabling right now, so... I already played a few games, so uh, they use that. Looks like it might work! New game! Okay, skip that. Stand up. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Know. That's pretty smooth. You were dreaming. It's um. What's your name? It stutters a bit sometimes. Well. Yeah. Not even last so those might be jit away. stutters. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. But it's not like a uh, half-life level. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. That's that's not bad. That's pretty smooth. It it stutters a little bit. When did this game come out? This looks like PS2 era. Why well, does it have a big crisis? Wait, I can try crisis if you want. Um, at the hatch. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, this is, it stutters. Okay, that's stuttering. Yeah, so when there's a lot of geometry in the viewport, it stutters. Uh, when there's not, it's smooth. So, not sure if that's CPU or like, um, just CPU bound. It could be CPU bound because there's probably a bunch of, uh, random processing on the CPU just to... You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. So, yeah. I have to look at what's going on there. 
But great. I'm not bad. Sure it right runs. Here. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Uh, the, the colors being a bit off is, uh, is my capture card again. Don't, please don't worry too much about that. Um. So, uh, that looks like it runs. Ah, uh, what am I doing next? Why is there like a weird... Is Steam being silly again? I think Steam's being silly again. Restart Steam. Oh, that didn't even kill it. Um. Ah, uh, we haven't tasted big picture mode. I can try that. Probably would be a bit slow though. I said that I need to kill something else now. No, it's like it's running. What is it doing? Proton updates? It's doing something now. I said it finished doing whatever it's doing. It's... it's running Steam. to kill it again. Oh, I think that's an old ass team binary maybe? Or maybe just slow? I think it might just be slow. Let's try that again. Um, why is that still connecting Steam? What? Steam, what are you doing? Okay, let's try that again now. I think it should be fine now. It was just like an old uh, Steam process, I think, stuck or something. Oh, wow, more, more gifts! I'm not going to be able to catch up! Except gift. Alright, uh, and more invites. Alright, so library, and let's mark, um, Marwind as working. Ah, uh, 
Yes, sir, where are we? Um, Rockland, Celeste. Did we try uh, Deep Rock Galactic? Oh, no, more gifts. Tomb Raider? Is that like the original? Oh, it includes Crisis. Wow, okay. That looks like it's wine again. Uh, yeah, DX11 stuff probably won't work. Um, it depends on exactly what features, though. But right now, I am pretending to support DO3.3, which we don't fully support, but we mostly do. Um, look, it looks like it's probably doing the same nonsense again. Um, yep, that. Um, I figure out why that happens. Yep, it's it's that again. Um. And that again. Oh no, more gifts. Orange shoes. That looks cute. Yeah. Ah, uh, what now? What now? Is there more? I think we're getting somewhere. Is that like four VC resists? Okay, that one's not dead yet. Oh, yes, it is. I think that's done. Alright, is Deep uh, Rock Galactic gonna work? Oh no, I got Crisis now! That again? Um, sure. Oh, this is like the... Oh, Unreal Engine again. Oh, that might be, uh... That might be... Tricky. We have the same issue again. Yep. And that one. Ah, uh, that looks like it finished. Did it actually... Did it get it? I don't know if that's working. It might be stuck. Uh, let's try um, running it again. Since I think it actually install. <coughs> um, I think it might be a bit stuck. that again in case is that doing that again uh, okay we got this again um Yes, it looks like it's um, stuck on that again. Um, I 
but then the prerequisites loader, um, just... Also gets stuck there. This might not work because of the official studio nonsense. Um... I'm gonna try one more time, in case we are making progress. But I think it's not working. Actually, wait, it's doing something now. Oh, that again. Okay, th I, I don't think this is working. Um, I think we're just looping on different VC redist. Looks like this isn't gonna work, sorry. Because of crazy VC retest nonsense. How do I get there? Um Sorry, I don't think this is gonna work. Alright, uh, let me download Crisis. Um... Uh, Fallout Las Vegas? It's updating, it says. Oh no, is this gonna be like more VC retests? Oh no, more of this stuff! Well, at least usually when Steam does it, it does work. Actually, that one worked. And now it's doing direct text. Oh no, that's, uh, that's gonna take forever with the uh, registry stuff. I think. That might take a long time. Let's get some more stuff installed, um, while we wait for that. Looks like that might be waiting for that. And yeah, trick this is gonna take a while. We know that happens. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gonna wait a bit. Um. Okay, I think we need to wait for that to finish. of zero. All right. Four K kernel. It's a four K kernel. That's why I set up uh, earlier today. I made it work on four K. Okay, now it's back to their text again. That's it. Wait. 
Because they're doing something like that last time too, so... I think we just need to wait. Because of all the registry stuff, I'm with very slow startup. Uh, I think the shaders is something uh, Steam does anyway, but you can turn it off. I'm just gonna finish, uh, in case adding more games to the download is making it more confused. Just doing something. internet here in Japan. <clears throat> I have about a uh, one terabyte external SSD right now that I'm using for this. It's not super fast, but um, this is pretty old, but it should be fine for the games. Now, uh, yes, we'll try some ammunition at some point. Uh, I know dolphin works, um, because other people have tried it, so. Last time we did a direct X and salt too, so this is kind of expected, um, but we just have to wait. This one does not my theme. This is the uh, this is the actual machine I'm testing everything on. So this one just has a very vanilla KDE desktop. There's no uh, I didn't set up any uh, themes or anything. Looks like I'm missing some fonts. Um. Come on, DirectX. I think I might be doing something now. Yep, step 305. Okay, another VC redistributable. Um, that one we know is gonna probably end up in trouble. Yep, uh, I think I just saw it. But normally that's fine if we kill it. Do we have another VC redist? Um, I think so. Yep, that's the same thing. Um, die! There! And then another direct text apparently, but hopefully won't do as slow as the other. Oh, step one of zero, okay. I just have to install so many things. I haven't tried Crisis yet, working on it! Uh, 
that's just DX setup, I guess. Uh, I guess we need to wait um again for another DX setup. Oh no, another gift! It is downloading stuff now also, which is good. Um, come on, Fallout! Oh, okay, something's happening. Okay, finished downloading uh, that one. Um, now it's getting crisis cute, I think. Oh, Tomb Raider, okay. It's an M1 Mac Mini. Um, basically a base model. Uh, and yeah, it's maxed out mostly on um, Steam checks, I think. Because of all the downloads. Is it done? Okay, now we got those preloaders again. Is it gonna be another set of... Yeah, it's gonna be another set of those. Come on, the registry entries. So these are the ones we know worked so far. Aquaria, Bastion, Blockland, Breed, Celestia, uh, Morrowind, Before HD, Fez, FD, I have Life 2, Portal, Portal 2, Savant, Terraria, um, Toho, Tenkusho, and VVVV, and uh, World of Goo. Um, so uh, let's see how many more we can, uh, we can check that they're working. Come on, DirectX! Supposed to have HD, my audio yet? Not yet, sorry! Um, so the thing is, like, launching a new process is very slow, I think, on FX because it doesn't catch the, uh, compilation and the DirectX, uh, setup is launching a bunch of new processes for, like, registry keys and that's why it's so slow. As I understand it. So, it's more like that the emulation is just making this super slow because of how it interacts with it. Yeah, I can't add new downloads. Um, I need to wait for this to finish, I think. Yes, this is using Proton! game at a time, but now they're all stuck also behind this, um, DirectX install. So it's coming, uh, Tomb Raider now. Well, that one, um, oh, HDMI, where are you going? That happens sometimes. Oh, no! Come 
Come on, direct tax! Come on, HDMI! I'm seeing it on my screen here, but it's not showing up on the stream. Come on! Might need to unclick it. I hope it doesn't mess up. Ah, there we go, back. Come on, DirectX! No, no, it's not switching. It's just, um, my HDMI cable is a bit dodgy, apparently. versions and VC redist and everything. Should be finishing soon, right? Right? Uh, Proton supports uh, directing, uh, translating to OpenGL with uh, wind 3 d so that works. there. Maybe. Or is that just a f completed download? Okay, there we go. Ready to launch. Alright. Play a game. It's doing something. I think I just saw a crash. Oh wait, no, we got it. We got it. Um, fine. <laughs> it's a it's low quality, really. Apparently, uh, this is a G4 6800. Um, I, I, I'm gonna set this to 1080p though. And Telia saying, um, yeah, but we'll leave those there. Detail. Um, we'll call that high. Okay, that's like the other stuff. Um. An ISO? I think we can do an ISO. Okay, let's, let's go with that. Hey! Is it gonna work? Hey! We might be getting something! Oh, the mouse is like acceleration is like crazy. New game. Wow, oh, the mouse is really crazy. I don't know. I, that might be a weird issue. Is that is that a video or is that actually rendering that? Cause that's really smooth. Like I won't say quite like sixty, but it's at least thirty. Oh, it's a cutscene. Okay. Okay. Kill that. All right. Yeah, that was apparently a cutscene. Probably a thirty FPS one. Um. Oh, but that looks good though. Is You're that a cutscene right. or is that real? That looks real. How about that? Is um or not? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold. Hey, that days. looks good. Why don't you just relax? A that second? looks real good. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? That looks right. You your name? Nice. Hey. I can't say it. What I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. See the now, the portal I stuff is mind, there is I something pathological in, in Source Engine games, but it doesn't mean you can't run real 3D I games. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. 
But that was worth the wait! Uh, That's like the, the highest quality 3D game we've done so far. Okay, the mouse is crazy though. I don't know if that's the setting or what. Um, well, 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 we'll call that, um... Can I at least get my hairstyle in here? I don't think any hairstyle here is gonna, uh, be mine, but... Oh, the, the wheel works, that's nice. I'll go with that. Um, how do I... Back? Done? Yeah, I'll go with that. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. Again, remember the there contrast is weird because of the uh, capture card, not um, not the uh, not the actual um. Actually, is this the color range? Oh, it might be that. I think I have the HDMI color range that wrong. Hey, that looks more like it. Um, because it depends on what the source is, right? Hey, that uh, the colors look right now. Sorry about that. Looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. Where's the vigor tester? You'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. Is it this thing? What is this thing? Oh, this thing? How do I do that here? I don't, I don't use this. I, I don't know, I like select things here. Okay, so I have to go to the end, that's why. So, I should put everything into speed. Wait, is it even a speed thing? Whatever, um, I'll just go with that. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good. Anyway, I just want to see if it works. Go outside. A big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Now it's really smooth. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Night. Bandit. Light. Mother. Oh. First one. I ain't given. I can go down. I mean, whatever. Ah. Uh. I charge in to deal. Almost done. What did I say? I don't even know what that's it. Okay. I don't care anymore. Just let me. Just let me go through. I don't have. Just let me. Let me. Let me go forward. I'll call this done. Oh. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Did 
crits left. Um... Oh, we'll go with that, um... All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Yeah, that works! All right, let's go. Let's go outside. Here, these are yours. I hope you oh, I can skip with the with clicks. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna hard code mode now. Uh okay, outside. at least um we'll have to look into that that heroes of wine it looks like it was actually a 0.3 drift so i had to figure out what was up with that um Sorry, now my audio is crashing. No, I have a, I have a separate problem where my um, my audio system crashes after a while. Um, but that's a uh, different issue. All right. Uh, so yeah, that that was pretty good as long as it lasted. So, um, well, we'll have to look at that. But that's pretty good. All right, Fallout Las Vegas at least uh, looks very good, runs smoothly. Um, we'll, we'll have to look into that second fault. Uh, all right, more things. Um, things that are down. Then crisis is down. Let's try crisis. How much crazy installs is this gonna take? RPC redistributable. Well, we can kill that one. We know. Um. Actually, it's not quite doing the thing yet. No, that one's fine. It's it's actually doing stuff. Is Tomb Raider downloaded? I think so. Let's get some stuff that is missing. Um. Okay, yeah, that one's also waiting for that. We're gonna call. Um. Fall New Vegas as working at least to some extent. Okay, now it's stuck on the usual. Sonotic works? Yeah, that's like the first... Oh, you mean like on Steam? I don't know. But yeah, no, of course regular Sonotic works. That's like the... It's my default test game. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Crisis, here we go. Is Crisis gonna work? It's doing stuff. Is it working? Oh my god, it's uh... 
Picking something! We don't know if it runs crisis yet. This is just the intros. Maximum. The question is... What's gonna happen after this? What's gonna happen after this? How many intros does this have? <laughs> this is definitely not an NVIDIA! It's definitely not an Intel! Come on! Okay, you got a mouse? You got stuff? Single player? Is it Round Crisis? New game! Normal! Start game! That's smooth! Can I skip the cutscenes? Come on, get me to like actual game. I, I know you can play videos fine. Play video and videos is fine. Is there no skip button? Come on! Oh, hold on. Your FPS on the stream is slow because of this. Should be, should be, should be smoother now. Unrelated. Yes, okay, I get it. You can play videos. Stop it. Can I? I can't skip this. I need to make sure I save the game. Percent? At least the audio is still going. I have no idea what it's doing. It might be uh, like the translation layer doing something. I uh, know there's no hardware decoder, it's all software. I don't know what it's doing. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Um. All right. Why is Fisher Retail being the city again? Hold on. Let me kill this. Back to crisis. I didn't kill it, I just hopped out the way. And this, I just don't know if it's actually doing something or not. I don't know 
know if it's stuck or what. Oh, I can window it. Okay, that's that's easy. I don't know if the, it looks kind of stuck. But I don't know if I should just wait for it. I mean, it's doing things. But it's it's hard to know if it's a... Um, it, it's 100% CB on one process. On one thread. Uh, let me extract that. 22812. Two. I think it's doing something. I mean, I don't know if it's stuck waiting for something, but it doesn't look like it's crashing. Should I kill it and try running it again or just wait a bit? It's a Mac Mini. Um, the headphone output jack would work, but there's actually a separate box, so I'm using a USB uh, interface for now. It's doing. Suppose it's actually kind of stuck. I can try again. Um, how do I rename the cutscene files? Um, I can look at the other process. And it's about the same. Um, okay, I'd, um, um, games, uh, Steam apps. Is it in common? Crisis. Where are the cutscenes? Where are the cutscene files? Is it animations? That doesn't look right. It's too small. Oh, look at this video. Okay. I see. Do I want to rename just like everything or? I don't care about that. Um. Intro, definitely yes. Hopefully that's enough. A tutorial, we probably can be okay. Okay, let's try that again. What's the second option? It's not even... 
Also, about the portal code, it didn't ask, actually ask me about that, but... It could be a RAM thing, I guess, but, um... You can also try enabling ZRAM. Oh, not VC Redist again. Okay, um, please let me go into a window so I can see what I'm doing. Come on! <clears throat> yes, that's like the one video I didn't rename. Much better. Alright, window, let's go window. Uh, let's go into options, actually, see if we can change some settings. Uh, game settings. I might as well full screen it right now. Um, this is very smooth, at least. Um, tutorial mode. Let's turn that off. So what about the, um... Graphic settings and stuff? System settings? Um, graphics... The, the 1024 and TL isn't off, that's important. Uh, v sync we can turn on. Um, so let's see if, uh, let's look at the memory usage and see if we have uh, a possible memory issue. Um, single player. Is there anything to load? No. New game. So let's watch the RAM usage. Um, it's not using too much GPU memory. GPU memory is the, the purple thing there. I have swap, so it's okay if... Uh, I'm more VC resist. Why are you doing that? I don't think we have a RAM problem. But now we're at 100% again. I, I don't like that could not get primary adapter handle. Oh, it's the audio stopped. Is it doing something? Oh, no, no, it's because I alt tapped. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it gets stuck there. It's not memory usage. Memory usage is fine. I mean, I'm using a lot of memory, but I have some swap and I'm not running out of swap, so... Yeah, it's shared memory, so the, as I said, the purple um, section in the memory usage bar in HTOP, that's the GPU memory. Um, should we try with, like, lower settings? Uh, and yeah, I could be missing something random. Should we try one of the other Crisis games? Uh, it's gonna take a while to install, though. Uh, let's get the other stuff going. Well, we, we, uh, almost run Crisis. <laughs> um... Let me see if I can get through this stuff.
because meanwhile's theme is being silly about uh, game installs. I think I need to cancel that and do it again. Um, okay, 100% orange juice. Um, Let's let that one install. Uh, what can we run while that runs? Um, let's try cube. Um, oh, are we? No, that's just a download. Let's try this one. Oh no more run times! Please tell me there's no direct text this time. Set up on Proton. Okay, no, it didn't. It didn't uh, crash this time. That's interesting. But DirectX again, no. Ah. Oh, that's gonna take a while. a lot better than the other ones. It's not, um, taking forever. It's not physics. Physics. And .NET! It needs .NET! Oh! Is it working? doing something though given dot net I'm a bit scared ah maybe it works Anniversary? Oh, yeah, I need to try the. Oh, no more gifts! Pro Cutter Tycoon! Oh, benchmarking? Oh, well, well. I might have broken that with uh, clicking out of it. Or the videos are just broken. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, that really looks smooth. I don't know if that's a cutscene or not, but... Oh, that looked rendered for a second there.
Oh, nice. Okay, so it's not quite 60, but, um, it's playable. I'd say it looks about 30 FPS or a bit less. Maybe 20 something. Motion door is nice. And this is Unreal Engine, right? So that's pretty cool. That works. I can't jump. Okay. What about that? How does that work? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Okay, I see where this is going. Yeah, that works. The game works. I see. Oh, I see. That's cool. Nice. This feels a lot like a portal somehow, but without the portals. I, I probably need to... Put it up more. Yeah, that works. Oh, I see. Um, how do I do that? Oh, that's interesting. I don't know how to get there. And do anything used to push me? I'm not sure how I would do that. I actually don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here! I'm officially stuck! For the highest? No? Oh, okay, I see, I see, uh, sorry. It depends on which one you pull, okay. Okay, I see what's going on here. Interesting. Yeah, that's running quite nicely. Not sure what the right way of doing that is. Um, probably the top one. I'm not sure. Okay, I can extend that. I forgot about that. Um, can I get on the top? Yes! Is that enough? Yes! Okay. I don't know how to turn on the FPS counter. Is it in the options? Let's turn off V-Sync in case that helps. Advanced options. Sorry, I don't know how to turn on the FPS counter. Anyway, oh, it's a bit smoother now with the uh, V-Sync turned off. Just a little bit though. Alright, anyway, 
Hey, this game works! Oh, I can't do that. Interesting. Um. Oh, because that's there. Okay, I see. So I need to, like, not block that. So probably that one. I want the top. Yeah, anyway, all right, this works. Uh, can I save? Or is it safe for me? I guess it's safe for me. Um, all right, so cube works. At the favorite, so I assume director's cut probably also works. Uh, where are we? Heavy bullets. Let's give that a shot. That's fast running another gift wait did i kill it or something i think i might have killed it um except gift oh no i remember games yeah i i don't have I, I can't catch up with all the games steam vr games uh i don't know much about vr on linux um and um also i don't that would interact with the display output stuff so plus we don't actually have external display output yet so um Skyrim special. Oh no, Skyrim. <laughs> um, alright. So, heavy bullets. No, that just crashes. Whoops. It doesn't say why it crashes. It just crashes. It's a mono game. That's too bad. Uh, 100% orange juice. Stung something. Can we download something else while that happens? Um. I guess we we are gonna have to try Skyrim. Trying something with the download. Um, are we are we stuck on misery discs again? Oh, uh, we are. And it's doing more misery disc stuff. Um, it's not dead yet. Now it is. It's doing stuff now. Unless that's more VC reduced. Um Oh DX setup, okay, yeah, it's 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 doing direct X. Let's hope it's not one of the really slow ones. The cores are back to the download. The download somehow uses a lot of, um... I.O. I don't know why. That might be another fix thing. I'm not sure. If it's one of those super slow, um... 
DirectX install is gonna take a while again. Okay, it's doing that again. So yeah, this is one of the slow DX um, installs. We just have to wait it out. Okay, I'll be right back with that downloads. Give me a second. Still don't know why OBS keeps um cutting to that. Like that. Oh, because there's a transition over right, so that's that's a mistake. Um right, fix that. Come on, you can do it! Direct X! More friend requests? Okay, um, some other download. Mm. 
I'm not sure if that worked. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> we are getting somewhere. Geometry dash. Oh, I think I think it's starting to run. I think it's getting to to the actual game. And that's gonna have to wait now because it's doing the thing again. Hey, Ryan! Thank you so much for joining, Team Nina. Welcome. Uh, yeah, I think there are Tokyo servers in Steam. It's pretty fast. I redirect the again. It's still doing some setup on that. I don't know what that is. Starting something. I think the converting thing happens when you're already running, like launching another game and it like has to wait for it for some reason. Like if they both use Proton or something. Oh, I think we're doing the... The, the slow tricks and stalls again? Not sure. Oh, so, oh, there we go! There, there, there. Oh, Steam crashed! But maybe the game works. Because it does that sometimes. Still doing stuff. Still doing stuff. Uh, so I just ran an Unreal Engine game and it looks like it worked great. Right. Today it be a uh, full screen. Play! Oh, I have to actually click. I can't type. That's smooth. Select unit. She looks cute. Hey, that looks smooth. Um, forty-three pages. Okay, this looks complicated. Uh, 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 Alright, um... We're just gonna prove that the game works. This is like super cute, but it somehow feels like it's gonna be super complicated. <laughs> kind of small because okay, so this is basically a card game then okay uh, I, I'm gonna have to like spend time on how to actually play this game but um let's just prove that it works yeah it 
looks like it works. Pretty smooth also, so no problems there. This, but obviously it works. It all looks great. Oh, did the... Did my thing... No, the color range is correct now. I don't know why it looks so saturated all of a sudden. Yeah, I don't know why it looks um, kind of saturated. But anyway... Spend hours figuring out how this game works. Um, Steam, come back! Yeah, the capture card is a bit weird. Don't worry too much about that. Alright, back to Steam! We got another working game! Library. Still down, honey. Um, so, uh, I read it, aren't you? That works. I'm going to play Skyrim. I get the feeling that's not going to work. So this is very slow now. Is it because we're running another VCR test? Yes, it is. And the download on top. This is an M1. M1 Mac Mini. Alright, we have about an hour and a half before I have to really go because uh, that would be the 12 hour stream mark. Um, so let's see how far into the other games we can get with that. It's doing stuff for Skyrim. Oh, we should this again. Oh, no. Let me double check that that is actually, um. Really dead. Um, but I think it is, um. It is. Okay, let's kill that. Um. Oh, it's telling me yeah, VC resist. Yeah, we'll try Tomb Raider. And it's doing that again. Um. Oh, drag text again. I hope it's one of the fast ones. No, I think we get to wait to dr for direct text again.
Uh, we still have plenty of space, I think. Yeah, yeah, we still have like 600 gigabytes left. We only used that 200 so far. We're fine. 200 gigabytes of games downloaded today. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Come on, drink this! Okay, that's downloading, that's good. Um, I think that moved. Yeah, it's doing that again. So I think we just have to wait a while. It's still doing things. So the games that worked are this list here um, and the others from Markan, so we are getting there. that I will be adding support for later. Um, I also have... I can borrow Markin's M2 Azuri M1 Ultra, um, but that is not something that like I can always use. Um, and also, this one only has 8 gigabytes of RAM, so it's kind of limited there. But it is using all the RAM right now. Basically, fix everything in Steam. Basically, this team is using other RAM. Are these like old Steam processes or? Oh no, the web stuff, yeah. It, Steam uses a lot of RAM. Might have to figure out if there's old processes that I have to kill though. But so far, RAM hasn't been an issue, so that's good. Good thing I have some swap though. Come on! It's like all these uh, DirectX and VC resistance laws are like a pain of my existence! Why? Let's get um Rotocoaster Tycoon in there too. Um
Just kill all the games for install. Oh, there we go! I get the feeling Skyrim is not gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway. Uh, I think for from what Ryan said, the drift thing is is very slow. Yeah, that um, it's just by um, launching a lot of sub processes. Oh, I see more VC resists. trying to run Skyrim. Oh, no, I think it crashed. That did not work. Didn't say why either. We'll just try again, see if I get any logs. But, I mean, I guess it's not surprising that Skyrim wouldn't work. Um... I see another VC radius in there. I think it's a... Uh, well, no, that one's not looping yet. How about these are? Proton, but I think that's going to reinstall everything, isn't it? It's doing stuff. A more VC resist. Go away! I think that died. Um, didn't really say what happened. It just died. Oh yeah, we tried. Okay. Um, I think this one. Did, yeah, this one we already tried. Didn't work. Um, crisis gets stuck. Um, geometry dash. Is this gonna be another that? Yeah, it probably needs newer proton, but I think the newer proton had issues on fix, so I'm not sure I want to go there right now. Set up EXE, what is that? Is that? I don't know what that is. It's doing stuff. I mean, we can try an intermediate, um... Proton, because right now I think I'm in like one of the older ones. But I skipped several versions, so. Oh, we see Redest again! You gotta fix that VC resist um, bug. It's it's getting really annoying. So those aren't looping yet, but they will. 
Oh, but this one might be another... Oh, that's another one! Okay, is it gonna work? The nearest that doesn't use pressure vessel, I think is what you meant. Do you know which one that is? Is that the one you said? Um, or... No, it won't be faster if, you, uh, if I stop the other installs. It's it's just... um Because it's, it's prioritized anyway. It's just like that. Storing stuff. It's running Proton. Let see with this being... I don't know why it does it twice. Oh, no, that didn't work. It just didn't work. Try again. Sometimes the VC resist killing doesn't actually work. Say that one more time. And it's gonna do the VC resist thing again, isn't it? right now um mm, let me check and see if it's looping but I think it is that's two seven 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 yep it is So how do we get pressure vessel working? I mean, I didn't do anything weird, right? Like, why would I complain about that with a prefix? Um, uh, yeah, it looks like this might not work. It really depends on the game and what kind of um, proton stuff is going on. Are we BC resisting again? Yes, we are. Yeah, I think that doesn't work. It tries to. I think it probably tries to run BC resist in a loop or something. Okay. Uh, good night. Hey, at least that's that looks native. No, oh, that that crashed. Cannot execute binary file? Is this like a game that pretends to be Linux and then it's not? Can I force it to Steam Play? Oh, I don't... No, what was that about? Um...
It's doing something. Is it gonna work? That one gacha anime game are we talking about, um, Genshin? Oh no! Okay, DirectX 11. This one needs DirectX 11. Yeah, that's probably not gonna work. Oh well, we tried. Okay, Gothic 2. Is this another DirectX install? Are we secret this? Mm, yet. Oh, yeah, we see, I saw we see this in there. Oh, but it didn't crash, I think. It might be one of the good ones. No, it's stuck on that again. Okay. in there. Oh, it's not looping yet. Alright, um... Wait, I think I already tried this before, didn't I? I think I did. And it didn't work. Was this one of the ones with the... Yeah, I think I already did this. And something was wrong with it. Like it did start, but the I think the rendering was broken or something. Yeah, so the, the videos don't work. Yeah, there, there was something weird with this one. That one just crashed. Alright, uh, next up, um... Did we try heavy bullets? I think we did. Did we try that one yet? Yeah, it's, it says we tried it, so I think that one didn't work. Uh, still downloading stuff. Okay, let's go from the bottom. Tomb Raider. Uh, one is old enough. You'd think that would work. How many VC disks is that gonna need? Um, people gifted all of these to me during the stream. I didn't have anything. Are you hearing this again? It's not crashing yet though. But this one might be. I did something now though. I think it's stuck now. There 
over yet? Okay, I think that's one of the stuck ones. Yep, that looks right. Uh, alright, is it gonna work? Tomb Raider one! Oh, 2013 is, uh... Is Nate Dave? That's cool. Let's see what happens with this one first. It really is those box. Okay, that's really funny. Oh my god, it, it's seriously those box. And the resolution is somehow terrible. Yeah, this is gonna go great. Um... It's actually working! Okay, that's... That's that's glitchy audio, right? Um... It's trying! Okay, I don't think this stacking emulator's business is going to uh, go great. Um... Okay, that one's... Yeah, it, it's, it starts out okay, and then it goes, I guess, really bad. And that's definitely not how it should look. This isn't going well. What's with all the, like, interlacing? Okay, yeah, um, I, I, did it just die? Okay, um, that, that, well, I think we'll, well, um, that's a bad idea. So, do you think this one's native? Nope, that didn't work, um. Oh, it's missing the library, okay. Um, I might be able to fix that. That's a library issue. Um. It's looking for 51. Okay, that's like a really old version. Uh, I don't know where to get that. Why doesn't it ship with that, though? That sounds like a bug. Like, it should be in the... in the Steam, um... runtime. That sounds like they messed up. I'm sure there's a package I could pull that from, but, um... I mean, this is Arch, so it's gonna have the newest one, so that's not gonna work. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Okay, let's try this. Is there like a, a thing for the Steam runtime? Okay, can I do it like that? Hold on, let me cancel that. Let's try, let's try it. Um, oh, update queued. Okay, update. Um... I guess it needs the runtime. So I guess it was forced somehow to not use it. I don't know. Um. Let's try that with the runtime. If that actually works. Oh, no, no. Uh, I saw a pressure vessel. 
For sure Vesa is complaining about that stuff. He hasn't died yet though. No, that didn't work. It did not work. Even though I said it to use the same runtime. It might be the pressure vessel problem, so... Um... That's unfortunate. Okay, let's try this one. switch um but i'm not sure if user would work yet um i'm not sure what features needs i know dolphin works crazy resist Oh, DX set up again. Okay, we're, I guess we get to wait again. Some other stuff downloading. Um, that direct tech stuff is quite painful. We have about one hour left before I really have to go. Um, all right, come on, drink taxi, you can do it. Ryan, we need caching for the cheat. Writing relocation support for the JIT code before another fire stole me. I know the feeling. Dota's not gonna work because it needs a Volcan or something.
I'm sorry if I'm not following the chat. Oh, 20 minutes behind? <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that happens. Factory. Keys by email, um, I guess. Not for today, though. That'll be for later. This runtime stuff is so painful. So, Ryan, any idea how we fix pressure vessel? I think it might be done now, finally. Or soon. Oh no, actually, that's just the downloads. something now. It's doing something. Oh, VC this again. It's not looping yet though. Okay, now it is. Doing something. I got a mouse cursor. Is it loading? And Dynamco. Okay. Um. It's a Japanese audio.
同志の伝承はるかな神話時代君スキップだかつんスキップよし Hey! Oh that's smooth! Oh that is very smooth! Oh that's very 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 smooth! Nice! Okay, it's, it's stuttering a little bit now. The far view was smooth. Okay, it's not as smooth now. That's... Interesting, okay, so it's like sometimes it's kind of smooth and sometimes it kind of isn't. Geometry is in view. So it might be another thing with the CPU limited, or it might be a GPU thing, but not bad. It runs. Not bad. It is totally working. As I said, we're going to be optimizing things later, so don't worry too much about that. There's a lot of things that are probably going to be pretty obvious what the performance issues are. Once we start undoing profiling on the driver. Okay, how do I go? How do I go places here? There's nowhere to go. Oh, I don't want to fall off. Oh, can I not fall off? Am I supposed to just go up here? Oh yeah, there's something here. That looks good though! <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> It's actually pretty smooth during the like rendered cutscene here. That's pretty good actually. Okay, looks like I can't fall off, so that's good. Oh no! Hey, this isn't bad! I like the like skippable cutscene segments thing here. Hey, this really isn't bad, and this is all like real time. Nice. I <laughs> hit that. Cut. That was a little fault. <laughs> yeah, this one's nice. I mean, it's not 60, but it's doing 30 quite a bit of the time, I think. This is really good. This looks nice. Oh, hmm. Nice! Yeah, so it... Oh, it's not bad inside. Indoors here is pretty good. Check. Save game! Yay! Hey, this is nice. I like that this worked. That was worth the DirectX wait. Let's 
this really isn't bad. I like it. Oh, that's smooth right now. That that was nice. That pen, that pen was good. I'm using a uh, HDMI capture card. あの、さ、あれ。まさか。待て、人間にはかかっとけない。わかっとにかく。うん。Damn in distress. Yeah, like now it's slowish. It really depends on like Yeah, there's there's something going on there that makes it slow, but it wasn't slow during the um during the uh like the cutscene, so I'll have to do some profiling there, but not bad. Oh, now it's fast, all of a sudden. Yeah, I think it depends on like how much geometry is in view or something. Oh, Yeah, during some cutscenes like this one, it's really smooth. I can, I can, I can see it's like 60. Oh, that's nice. そう、見るのは忘れてないよね。あ、Give me this uh, yes, a point around here. Oh, a chest. I actually kind of like this kind of game, so I might play this. It, it reminds me of um, Zelda a bit. Say find somewhere. But yeah, it, it's playable. It gets slow sometimes, like now. Um, but yeah, and see, like now it's fast again, right? So it really depends on like it looks like it's a BSP thing or something. Like depends on oh. Come on. これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ
Um, let's try the Talos Principle. Oh, you can run 32, but interesting. Definitely not necessary. Um... Hey, that's easy. Uh, system does not meet minimum requirements. Graphics hardware... Do you want to continue anyway? Let's try. Um... This is Wayland, but I think Steam is mostly using X Wayland. Hey! We got a loading screen, that's a good start. Okay, the video is not doing great. Um, give me some PTM while it starts. Is it possible it's using software rendering or something? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's... That was a bit slow, but it didn't feel like self-rendering slow, so... Rosetta doesn't have much faster x86 emulation than FX. It's that some stuff is slower. <clears throat> it's just that it does like ahead of time, so the, the pre-compile is... Uh, is faster, but like... A lot of this is just other stuff that isn't quite finished. Okay, that's... um Very slow. Oh, it's a VM pipe. Okay, no, it's self-rendering. It's actually self-rendering. Um... Interesting that it ended up with that. Um, is this trying to use Vulkan or something? It might be trying to use Vulkan in, on, like, Lava Pipe. Okay, yeah, so that's not gonna work. Um, that's interesting that that ended up on a VM Pipe. Can we switch to... Uh, no, yeah, that's, that's some software rendering, so... I don't know if there's a setting for that. It doesn't look like we really have a setting for that here. Um... I can just Google that real quick. Okay, now this is definitely Vulcan only, isn't it? Um, or D3D11, uh, so... Yeah, that's... that's fine! You saw stuff for rendering worked, so the game runs. Um... Is there an open deal mode for that? Game properties beta stab choose legacy. Okay, so it's an old build we need for that. Legacy Linux, I guess. Uh, all right, let's see if that works any better. Six gigabytes, okay, that's gonna take a while. Um, but, um, it might work. So, Stanley Parable. My oh, legacy Linux is really old. Oh, I think Steam just crashed. Okay, let's see if I can get that into, uh, the regular legacy, um...
Okay, so we'll throw that one legacy. Um... Let's see how long that takes. Um... Did we try Stanley Parable yet? Oh, that was the one that crashed um, Steam. And it failed to create it. Yeah, it's... Um, we failed to allow driver... Apple. Why? Oh, CXXABI! Um... Okay, this is an issue with the driver being compiled for, like, a two new, um, C++ ABI and the Steam, um, runtime, um, has an older one. I'll have to look at that. That's, that's an interesting issue, yeah. I don't have time to fix it right now, but... It's a Stanley Parable, um... Not gonna work. Slay the Spire, I think, um, didn't work. I think we tried that already. Um, a short hike. Let's try that. Is it loading? Is it doing stuff? I don't know if that's... Be loading things. Let's give it some time. Oh, oh no, I think it crashed. It crashed and we don't know why. Oh, well, we tried. Um, Salt and Sanctuary. That looks like it's um, getting somewhere. That's looking pretty reasonable. Hey, that looks like it works. Press A, press left mouse, okay, new game. It knows my name! I guess that's from Steam. Doesn't know my gender though. Uh -huh. That'll work. That's kind of funny. with that. Venture forth. Hmm. 
can skip? Apparently not. Minecraft works! People have tried Minecraft already. I don't have it, but it should work. It's it's been proven to work. That looks like it works. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. Nice. Hey, that's good. Oh wow, that that That's uh already that is very bloody already how do I go somewhere there okay that's very smooth that's very nice this one looks pretty nice oh that's uh, uh I, I think I'm dying <laughs> It's a very dark game. I think I was supposed to die there. But yeah, this is looking good. It's just, um, nice and smooth. A little bit of stutter is expected from Madrid and stuff. Um, but... Nothing major. translation thing there. Alright, I think I can say this works. I'm quite sure if it's my type of game, but there you go. Alright, cool. Salt and Sanctuary at the favorites. Are we trying? Um, okay, before we go to take you on, let's try Payday 2. Oh, that looks fancy. Doing stuff. No, that did not work. I think. Or is it just thinking? Wait, no. No, we're still there. Ah, oh, we're still there. We're still there. Hey! Okay, that's a cutscene. Hey, that looks nice. The resolution is kind of terrible. Can we fix that? That's much better. 1080p. There we go. Hey, that looks nice. Wait, right, how do I play? How do I play this? Play offline. It knows my name again. Hey, this looks nice. The Harvest and Trusty Bank is trying to up its liquidity with a large deposit. In unstable times like these, gold's all you can. Need to drink. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, but let's see. Hard. Skip that. Oh, okay. that look! It's smooth! It works! It's totally smooth! Turn off is my type of game and it's smooth! Look at that! Go on ahead. I'll be ready when the party stops.
I have no idea why I'm supposed to shoot people in there. I have no idea if I'm shooting the right people, but I'm just shooting people. Civilian killed yet. I have no idea. Whatever. Um, bank heist or something? Yeah, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. On your face. Get down! How about you get down? Hey, where's the vault or whatever? I'm supposed to get the vault mod. What? How do I... That's closed? Um... Down. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. A thermal drill. Okay, pick up the thermal drill. Where is that? 26 meters in that direction? Is it upstairs or what? I have no idea where that is. But anyway, it's smooth, it runs, it works! Look at that! It's, 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 it's totally cool! So it's not, it's not, I should have picked up a drill, I guess, down there. I think that was a bit of fall damage. Um, okay, thermal drill, okay. Can I get into this door now? Get ready for action. I can pick the lock. Get your weapons condition one, folks. We got a police assault in 30. I probably won't have uh, won't do this in time, but hey, the game works, it runs, it's smooth, it's playable! It's a shield! Bad. Shields down! Alright, here we go. How do I use the lock? How do I? Voice down. I don't know how I use the drill. It's like here. Oh, um, drop off the thermal drill. How do I do that? What button do I do? I don't know, I dropped off the drill. What button do I use? Oh, G! There. Okay. How do I drill into the vault? F. It's an M1 MacBook Air. Sorry, M1 Mac Mini. Okay, this is really good. This works. This totally works. to be playing this game today, but am I not? Ah, die, die, die! Oh, oh no, I'm getting shot and I just ran out of ammo! Pick the eye! Oh, 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 oh. That's a lot of bullets! Two minutes stuck on the drill. I don't know if I'm gonna last. Is this guy? Yes. What is this guy? This guy. Oh wait. And they have like big shields. There. Oh no, I'm getting shot.
Alright, um, next up, this one goes on the list of games that work. At last. I'm gonna have to finish pretty soon because um, I am coming up on a 12 hour stream. Not sure if that's supposed to happen. Oh, yeah, okay. the gamma um I think somewhere there might work for my local screen anyway new game normal Score. What, what is it with all the all the violin games working? <laughs> okay, let's just see if it runs first. And if it runs, we'll... I'll move on. It's loading. Nope, that did not work. Um, not sure what that was about. It could have been a memory issue, actually. Wouldn't be too surprised. Actually, did we get any, uh... Oh, yeah, okay, that was a known killer. That was, that was it running out of memory. Oh wow, and even the GPU garbage collection failed to like allocate little tiny bits of memory. I'm so I think it just killed the game probably. Try again, just in case we get lucky. Uh, I think it might just be running out of RAM, and Steam doesn't help with um all the bloat. Let's try it windowed mode. Can we do that? Graphics, maybe textures, maybe lower quality textures. Non full screen. Apply. And at least I can watch the memory usage now. Um. I think it might just be Steam using a lot of RAM at this point. It's definitely using RAM. Yeah. Oh, but maybe... Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So, yeah, uh, but lower textures it work, so it's just a RAM issue. Um, can I... Make it full screen again? And we can do 1080p. Because in general, all these things are not going to be pixel limited. They're going to be limited by, uh... Other... Rendering stuff, so... Hey, hey, look at that! That works! Smooth! That's nice! Oh my god, did I miss a super chat? Sorry! Hey, that is really good! That's smooth!
really good. Video camera? A video camera with a, like, uh, like, night vision? <clears throat> okay, I'm glad we got this. I don't have a lot of time left before heading out, but this looks nice. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Look at it. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's freaking smooth. That's like 60 FPS. Look at that. That's nice. A 1080p. That's so cool. Man, I don't know if it's going to type a game, but it runs. Oh, okay. Now that slowed down a bit there. Oh, oh no. That was, okay. Um. Okay, something's wrong there. HDR. I think the HDR is breaking something on the on the lights there. Anyways, we'll have to look at that, but Yeah, something on the HDR is like um causing issues. Okay, we'll have to look at that. Um but Hey, that's pretty cool. We'll call that mostly a win. We can look at that later. Ha! Uh, what is left? Um, I think heavy bullets didn't work. Did it? Did I try that? Yeah, I did. Um, we are missing Leo's fortune. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to install these, but we're gonna try. And I guess we're gonna try roller coaster tycoon. Um. And you're a truck simulator. So what's that gonna do? Is this another VC resist moment? Might be another VC resist moment. Oh no! It 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 got through that. I cut through that, it's doing stuff. That is a very retro progress bar. Oh no! Except in raised access violation, it crashed. Oh well, we tried, at least didn't waste a lot of time on that. Um... What are we missing? Leo's Fortune, which I just installed. That might be one of the... Crazy install ones. Yeah, VC resist again. It's just that it might work. Looks like it was just VC retest. Hey Luna! Yes, I'm still going! I got a lot of games to work! Whoa! That, I'm not sure if that's supposed to look like... I don't think that's supposed to look like that. Um... Looks like some texture buffers are all in the wrong place. I think this is very broken. That might be a GPU driver issue or something else, but... I think this is broken. <laughs> okay, we tried. Um, what about that one? Saving gigabytes. I don't have time for that. Um, alright. You're a truck simulator? Is this another VC reduced? I might have to call that a day pretty soon. Oh, no, that 
turbine is launching directly. Oh, that's smooth. Hey! Not that. Oh, did that just crash? Yeah, it just crashed. Zekfart on Steam. Let me just try that again, see if... um. Let's just try it one more time. minutes left. No, that just crashed everything. GPU fault. Um, not sure if that was your truck simulator or something else. We might just be running out of RAM. What is using all that memory anyway? Uh, it mostly went away now. That's it's just Steam. Oh, and VC read this isn't helping. Let's go with Firefox. Oh, there's stuff. Steam there doing something. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Uh, why is there another Steam web helper still there? Okay, yeah, there's just a lot of old Steam web helper processes. Um, Okay, let's see if um, that helps at all. Memory usage? I mean, yeah, we cleared up quite a bit. I mean, Steam died, so that shouldn't be taking RAM. So, one more try of that one. Um, another friend invite. But I do have to head off in like five minutes, so. And remember, I don't have ZRAM like Mac OS for compression enabled right now. If I had that, it would help, so. Um. Okay, Euro Truck Simulator. I don't have that. I think something tech faulted there, but um, I think Steam tech faulted, but somehow, somehow it's still there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going very well. Oh, there's like 
Is that the sage? I think it's just a sage and bash. Yeah. Um, alright, one more try, and I think we're gonna call it a day. I'm gonna pause that download. Um, make sure we are not doing silly things. Why is it still doing that? Set pause. Okay, now it stopped. Um, try playing that. Sorry, I don't have time to try The Sims. Should we try safe mode? Maybe try safe mode. Oh, that crash theme again. But the game's running, so... Oh, but, it, but it's fading because it can access Steam. Okay, yeah. We need to figure out why Steam crashes. Um, um Let me try to, uh, without the other red, just in case. I really gotta go, so thank you everyone so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's actually just um look at the list of games that we made uh, run today before heading out. And uh yeah, well I'll see you all next time, and uh, we'll try more games. We will uh, see if we can fix some issues, and uh, hopefully I can figure out how to actually debug some of this. So let's um let's look at all the games that worked. So, favorites! Um, but I need to not go by library. So, all of these games worked! We have 100% Orange Juice, Aquaria, Bastion, Blackland, Braid, Celeste, uh, Morrowind, In Florida HD, Fallout, uh, A New Vegas, Fez, FTL, Half Life 2, Outlast, Payday 2, Portal, Portal 2 Cube, Southern Sanctuary, Savant, Tales of Zestina, Terraria, Atoho, Tenkusha, V -V 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 and World of Goo! That's a lot of games! 24 games we got working today! That's pretty cool, right? So, yeah, thank you so much for coming! Um, I need to get some dinner and I need to head out and uh, get some sleep, so thank you so much! I'll see you all next time!